By the way, oh no, I'll say this. I don't want to sound on record. What did you say? I was in seasoning, but I'll, I'll wait till the end. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to incriminate myself. You don't right, want to incriminate remember. yourself. Yeah. Oh. Remember to incriminate yourself later. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, it's all recorded now. Yeah. So no there's at least know, evidence dude. that Ricardo wants. No one's going to know. No one's going to know. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of an old question I wanted to pose you guys on air. Yeah. Um, ever, you guys ever wonder about how the things that you say on recorded media like the like this mm-hmm. are, are the only things that the audience gets to hear? And you're like, yeah. What part of me, the person talking, does the audience at home get to experience? Surely not want, all of us. I don't like, want them to experience everything. So, <laughs> so. yeah, dude, you gotta, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, like, you gotta flirt a little bit. But you know, sometimes I just it. wonder, like, what do people even think of us as individuals? Like, what's the image we all have in people's mm. minds? Can I tell you what I think of us? That we're sure. all pieces of shit because we're human. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, Welcome I, to hope, Star I, Trek. Hope, I hope people <laughs> think that. I hope people think we're nice and that we're cool. No. No. Not me. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool, cool, Sarah. I'm not. Nice, awesome, Sarah. No, dude, Sarah. And somebody, that's Sarah. Somebody count how many times I, I call people pieces of shit per episode. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think uh, you all are very nice and awesome most of the time. I think you're nice. You're, t- you're too optimistic, yeah. Sarah. You're being. <laughs> You're seeing us with with you halal colored eyes. (laughs) (laughs) What Uh, halal? Is that a color? (laughs) No, (laughs) no. But you could you could you could say like you could add it to anything. You know? Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, I I guess it's like saying anything's kosher. Yeah, Yeah, like rosé covered eyes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh! Well, well, that was Sarah talking, and then that's Ricardo. Hey, Ricardo. Hello. That's Dan. Hi, oh, guys. wow. This is the piece of Dan you get today. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> and I'm Marvin, and we're, we're newbie Star Trekking today. By the way, here's a disclaimer. I am really glad that I made the commentary track for yesterday's Enterprise this way. Uh, Star Trek TNG is leaving Netflix oh. on April 2nd. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, and actually, uh, <laughs> I think April 1st will, will be your actual last day on which you can watch TNG yep. to your heart's content. Yep. Damn, that's crazy. So, uh, take my okay. breath away. It's been there for so long, though. Yeah, but yeah, CBS is trying to make everything exclusive yeah. to Paramount it's Plus It's truly now. the end of an era. So what are we going to do now? We have to go get Paramount Plus Yeah, we'll just something? do Paramount Plus or maybe God damn I can, it. Like I Blu-ray, no the Blu-ray sets are available for purchase. In fact, yeah. I bought one myself way back that's when. True. How much? How much? How much? Um, oh. Surprisingly hell? affordable when I bought it. Which is why well, I well, pulled now, the trigger at the they time. T- well, dude, when they t- when now when they take it off of Netflix, they're gonna be like, let's let's crank up the price. Okay. Want, <laughs> I you know? swear to they God, might. that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, they I swear could. to God. I mean, right see. now, the uh, the the next generation uh, complete Blu-ray set is yes. only seventy dollars. Huh? That's really not that bad. Who get on that right now before Jeez. it? Like, if you oh. really actually care and you don't already own them. Like now is a better time than any time later. I think the crazy part is if you're looking on Amazon right yes. now, randomly for some reason, the used version is far more expensive than the new version. Well, I don't I, know it has that like, lived in feeling though. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's any like issue with like later latter editions that like make no. the first pressing. In, in fact, the newer editions actually fixed tons of audio issues the first season had on the Blu-ray pressing. Hold on, huh. hold on. Then maybe Do people really love those audio problems. <laughs> and they're like, uh, no, nah, give make mine Marvel. I mean the old shit. Mm. Season Well, well one. Th- before before Netflix decides to kick Star Trek to the curb this week, we watch the offspring, everyone's favorite brand. Band. Brand and band. Brand <sighs> band. We're gonna start yep. like this. This is how ironic this is, this is how you wanna <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Mumble rock. The yeah. offspring possess a certain historical value to me. How so? I mean, nothing says early thousands more than on the offspring. <laughs> okay, yeah. They did play the shit out of them on the radio. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think that's why I hate them so much. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm more Fair of enough. a sound garden. Yeah. And Bing you, bong. you think of people or bands that kind of Alice came around that time. Yeah, Alice in Chains, mm. Sound Garden. 
that type mm. of variety. Sublime? Yeah. No, sublime. Oh, no. oh, fuck. Get out of <laughs> here with sublime, dude. That bullshit. Matchbox fucking- no. 20? I don't even <laughs> like... Um, no. I don't even really like Nirvana a lot. Uh, you know what? I can get behind that. There's some songs I really like, but overall, like, I get why people don't like Nirvana. I'm just more of like a Soundgarden person. I yeah. was like okay with Nirvana. I've never been like that big a fan of Nirvana. I was always like kind of just okay with them. And then to me, Nir- the, the day Nirvana died is when I saw that. When he killed himself? Of, of No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I, I didn't know where that joke was going, dude. I thought it was a bit that you were sitting up, dude. Oh, my God. Marvin, you probably should have phrased uh, this You gave a, a precarious setup, sir. That's true. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, oh, man. Well, it was too tantalizing. It. Nirvana yeah. died twice. Uh, Don't just when, hang when, a piece when, of steak and when, you know how much uh, I like steak, dude? <laughs> when Nir- the second time Nirvana died was that for the movie Hook with or blackbeard or whatever or okay. oh, they, come that, on that, that's that wasn't their not, fault that, that's like, not no. their fault you can't no, you can't take look, those actions and then attribute people, it to nirvana listen, deaths yeah. are not the fault of the people who died but it still killed them right like no but that's something somebody took well and, that's and a, that's the sort of mentality awful. people take was you ruined my childhood <laughs> <laughs> how Whoa. dare you sir no it's just i can never get hugh jackman mumble coring that song and then well yes that is fucking <laughs> terrible yeah, out of my head it should be ridiculed and mocked and perhaps but, forgotten. But it's, it's their fault it's now attached to my Whoa. brain it's hard it's to remove it's not their fault like well then now you're yeah. one of those people now your childhood <laughs> ruined i'm sorry <laughs> yeah you can I, say that on proudly that. on your blog on live journal <laughs> <laughs> okay well listen the offspring had their first concert on March 12th of 1990. Fuck Dan, yeah. Let's go. Okay. So, a few weeks have gone by <laughs> since our last later. trip around the sun. <laughs> On February 21st, Danny Elfman's Batman theme won a Grammy for Best Instrumental Composition. Oh. Another oh. winner from the same year was Wind Beneath My Wings by Bette Midler. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's when that was starting to gain prominence, although it wasn't, uh, it was a known song. Bette Miller just made it, like, popular. Uh, March 4th, we actually brought this up completely by coincidence last episode, but The Hunt for Red October, directed Mm. by John McTiernan and starring Sean Connery, was in its second weekend at the top of the movie pile as of the airing of this date. Yeah. Um, On March 8th, a copycat Zodiac killer based in New York City shot his very first victim. This would go on for three more years before he was caught. Um, and also on March 8th, the first ever Nintendo World Championships began. It ran for three Dang. days in Dallas, Texas. This event was originally sponsored by Pepsi, Reebok, and Nabisco. There were three age groups of competition, 11 and under, 12 through 17, and 18 and up. The top two scores from each group had to face off for the title of City Champion. These what champions were then play? invited to compete in the World Finals, which were scheduled to be held in December at Universal Studios Hollywood. And yes, this was also the origin of the famously rare and valuable NES cartridges especially made for this event, the ones that can sell for thousands today. And I heard Marvin ask, what games were they playing? It was the special cartridges that had very special specific tasks on them. Oh, okay. You can so look you can look Wait, up what do you what those mean were. by like tasks? Um it's like hey, it's have you ever played an NES remix? No. Okay, well, it's basically like, hey, here are various scenarios from a- existing games. Just do them like in rapid succession oh. and for points. Okay. So, it also, was like a Yes. Mm. So, uh, so this is this is a little bit back. John McTiernan is Predator, right? The, the director of Predator? Oh, yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah. Also, guy who who went to jail for tax fraud or something, right? Um, he was wiretapping people. Oh, Let's wiretapping, get it right, okay? right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that, that's a little. That's a little different from. It's a little tax more fraud. malicious. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it tells a different story. Yeah, that's a different. Makes him sound like some sort of predator. <laughs> um, <laughs> one last fun fact: the Panasonic Theater, where they would eventually hold the finals of this Nintendo World Championships, uh, is also where they. Had had the Star Trek Adventure attraction, which oh. featured Captain Kirk's crew and selected 10 audience members to dress in costumes and say pre-written lines that would eventually <laughs> get edited together into an eight-minute short video that you could purchase for 30 bucks at the end. Wow. Ooh. Where was That's this? Where was this? It. Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh, and really? presumably Orlando for some time. I, I it might have been at both. But um That's yeah, actually really cool. That's like, a sort of attraction that I don't think they could I wonder if anybody today. I wonder if anybody has 
the video from their that tape. That so many what? Trek, There's, like Trek fans yeah. must have saved theirs. There's got to be so many on just on oh my YouTube. God. I'm yeah. like, I'm like so. So I guarantee I you, the there's some people to go listening. Look it up on YouTube. Yeah, if you have it, send it to us. I want to see. Yeah, people America. who had the VHS and as soon as they're able to convert it to DVD. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we Jackie, kind of had Jackie, one. Do you have one? <laughs> we kind of had one when we went to the Star Trek experience. I had to double check yeah. on random. Make sure you didn't call her Nicole. And then yeah. we, there was the one where we got we got transported to yeah, a fight. Yeah, but this is like no, this is like an eight minute video. That's true. They had lines yeah. and yeah, costumes. Like, you had to, like this you is had to different. get coached a little bit to make this work. Wow. Well, like that's awesome. Like that's really cool. It's like it's like that scene from when Melvar is making everyone do a script. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, I'll bet yeah. there are awful, like horrible, awkward videos out there of fans. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Doing their best with the line they were just told to say. Marvin, look this up later and make it a TikTok compilation. <laughs> Check it out, dude. Yeah, send us send us your videos and we'll make a compilation on TikTok with all of them of the best moments. Uh, yeah, just tick it to the talk. That's yeah, real slang. Out. Yeah. Yes, bro. Send it okay. on TikTok. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a trip around the sun, everyone. Oh, it's everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Well, let's thank Dan, and let's also thank our sponsor, ExpressVPN, because why oh, not? Oh, yeah. Listen, you may not know it in this edited version of the podcast, but we were having some internet issues, but maybe we would not have had those internet issues had we used a quality VPN like Just ExpressVPN. Yep. And you know, there's other reasons to use ExpressVPN. They're very secure. They work on servers that run on RAM, so none of your stuff is logged. And they don't log any of your shit to begin with. So there's nothing to even find if someone manages to find it. Because technically, you can grab stuff off of RAM if you run up to the computer and cover it in liquid nitrogen and then turn it off. Then the RAM will stay on it. Really? Yeah, it's a way you can keep it on. But even then, there would be no logs to find. It would just be like... Do they put nonsense. Their, their drives in microwaves if someone's trying to... <laughs> like in Blacklist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, oh the, yeah, it's funny because in Blacklist, in the microwave. one episode did it and they're like, oh, that's, that is realistic. And then like every other episode, there were hard drives being thrown yeah, in Yeah, every time they found like a bad guy, it was a, the bad guy throwing hard drives into to the, microwaves. <laughs> to the point where like <laughs> secret hidden layers have like a microwave just to do this. <laughs> nice. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what they would do in Blacklist. Uh, so if also, you don't want to do that, get yeah, if you don't want to do that, no. and you're all over the world, you know, ExpressVPN, 3,000 plus servers in 160 locations spanning 94 countries, works on every device you can think of. If you have a device, as an app for it. It actually works with Netflix and other streaming services if you want to try geo hopping and checking out what other countries have. You know, yeah, TikTok it and other pieces, uh, pieces, other parts of the world, <laughs> other pieces of the world. Oh my god, I've done that. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah, and what's cool is you get the it, like on YouTube or whatever, you'll get the other countries' ads or whatever sometimes. Yeah, and it's just yeah. like blah blah blah. You Experience know, advertising they... in other countries. Yeah. Who needs a plane ticket? <laughs> you can yeah, just you feel just like what it's. Like, you can feel what it's like to be advertised to on, in the UK. Digital vacations. Sometimes I I put it in in Canada and I'm like, is this what it's like to have healthcare? Good and freedom <laughs> and freedom. And everyone. So this has is a, what healthcare a, feels like. Yeah, I'll hear yeah, like the, the health ads will say, "Hey, yeah. you know that healthcare you already have? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it great? Isn't it working out great for and you?" And everyone has like, I remember that there is a Canadian accent, and yeah, there is. I forget. What and it and like no sometimes. no everybody sounds like John Wayne. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the whole is there, Pilgrim. You're in <laughs> Canada now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's your Canadian. And, and no commercials for medication. Like. As a Canadian, I am <laughs> intrigued by your. I don't have an accent though. I left. Way you left too, too young. Young. I don't you, think I have a clear idea of what a Canadian accent is really? like in my head. Yeah. Well, it's because I think just like there is in America, because Canada is kind of a long, like a wide spanning country. There are different dialects. Yeah. yeah. Someone yeah, from yeah, Toronto will sound a little different from Montreal, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I feel true. like you know it when you hear it. And if you want to hear it, just pop on ExpressVPN to Toronto, Canada and listen to some ads. You yeah. do yeah. that. If Pilgrim. you're, too, you know, hey, <laughs> if hey, you're so Pilgrim poor that you can't Toronto. afford a microwave to fry your hard drives, <laughs> this deal will get you ExpressVPN so you don't need a microwave. <laughs> yeah. And also, even if, you know, sometimes you geo hop on a different VPN and you're like, man, 
It's really slow though. I can only watch this at 480p. Yeah, what are the wattages for microwaves like in Canada? (laughs) (laughs) At ExpressVPN, you still have really high speeds. We still get 500 megabits up and down, at least when we checked it on our end. And if you want that quality of VPN, just head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek and if you sign up for 12 months you get an extra three months for free which makes the whole package 49 percent off which is a pretty dang good deal so that's expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek all right hell yeah right? dude you're gonna, you're gonna have a good time get you jerked know, i think you, yeah do you know you know do you know denise crosby liked her ricardo could you yeah. please tell us what happened in this episode Oh yeah, <clears throat> this was a good episode. And certainly, we'll in some ways, you, Denise. In some ways, it was it was a really bad episode. Yeah. But let's get into it. Yeah, there's so many thoughts uh, about yeah. this. I, 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 it takes a lot out of my day. I'd say it takes about a good ten minutes out of the day when I first wake up to just be like, "Oh boy, all right, we're gonna do this thing," and then get up. You know, like mm. the first 10, 15 minutes. Are literally like nothing matters. Like this whole thing's a whole scam, you know. Like this whole thing, like <laughs> it's it's a real like existential like angst type of shit. Mm. I hear you. Mm-hmm. And then like fifty minutes in, I'm like, ah, fuck, I'll go. Let's go play this fucking charade, dude. And then I get up and go to work and go about my day. <clears throat> and yeah. this episode, th- and then there's some things. So so once you get past that, I could pretty much go the whole day. Like Mm -hmm. I get like, okay. And then sometimes I'll be like, that's so stupid. This fucking Putin guy thinks anything matters. (laughs) 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 And then they'll come back to me. And this episode kind of brought it back to me because I, I, there was a lot of like themes that I was like, oh yeah, Mm. I think about that a lot, but then I I try not to. Cause we were, we were also wondering, well, Sarah and I were wondering what, what do you think of this episode as Amongst us, you're the only parent. Yeah, it's so true. We were, we were yeah. thinking what you would think about the episode. Um. Oh, it was, you know what? I never thought of that. I never thought. I never thought <laughs> really? of that. The whole yeah. episode is about being yeah. a parent. Yeah, I never thought about it. You that way. never, you never connected in it with. To, that? To, well, it's funny because you connected to movies differently. Like, That's true. That's true. It, you connect to movie, not only movies and TV shows, but like you connect to whatever your life theme is, and everyone has a life theme, whether mm-hmm. you you liked it or not. Like every mm-hmm. listener has a life theme. It, it was made in you, just like your personality was made in you. Your mm-hmm. life theme is it. Whether <clears throat> you didn't know your 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 one of your parents growing up, and you have that like, oh, I'm just gonna put this as an example. My dad walked out on me. And I have trust issues. And and like, to me, my life theme is trust. I value trust about everything else. And so you have that life theme that runs mm. through you. And I don't know what it is, but existential angst is, is, is one of my life themes. <laughs> <clears throat> Ever since I was really young, I, I've had this and it, it's a, it's a thing. You, uh, it, it doesn't give me depression. It doesn't give me anything. No, it's just a daily thing of like, ah, uh, nothing matters. Why, why, why are we playing this game? You know? Mm. Uh, and then like, oh, okay, well, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. So l- let's just move on with the day. <laughs> but, it, but it, that's one of my life themes. And I think that, yeah, even though this is a lot about parenting, there's a lot about, it's a lot of, a lot of themes rolled into one. That's why I think there's a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Th- yeah. That's why this episode, one of the reasons it's not, it sucks a little bit is because this should have been like a two-parter. This is like a two-parter and they squeezed everything into one. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff they ended up cutting out, but I, but that was less for brevity. It was more because they were, uh, I guess, scared. Uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, so like, wait, th- I, I, I look back, I try to remember, was there any line where, where Guinan is explaining about two people having sex? No. Uh, there no. isn't, right? She really, deliberately no. avoids the topic yeah. when yeah. Yeah. Paul she asks it. her, like, what are they doing? Where are they going now? So there's apparently like a a quote from like I think it's like a PA or oh, no, it's a research assistant who said in the in an original version of the script, Guinan actually walks lol through like, well, people have sex. And apparently the original way the script was written was that it was like, well, when a man and a woman fall in love. And apparently <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg intervened and said, look, that's not, we don't need to wor- put it that way anymore. We should just say when two people are in love. And so that was apparently the original quote, but that's not in the mo- the show anymore. Um, no. And then the other thing they were apparently going to do was that in that scene in 10 Ford where everyone's making out, 
before they focus on the, that one couple, they were going to have like a, a shot showing a bunch of couples and <laughs> all making out at the same yeah, time. And then some of them were supposed to be same sex couples just to like get the point across. But then Whoa, apparently I someone can't was imagine a, that. Well, apparently someone was a fucking narc and called the production office and said what they were about to do and it got shut down. So Damn it. Was, it wasn't as subtle as those two dudes on the like the Pueblo planet. <laughs> oh, yeah. with the where the Picard was, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wait, no, 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 not the Picard. I'm sorry, uh, where John Wayne was. That's right. Oh, right, right. That's yeah. where that nice gay couple was. Yes, that's <laughs> right. I remember them, the, the nice gay couple. Yeah, I I liked when Star Trek. You know, like like the very wow. first episode, you see a sub, a really subtle one where guy just walks by. He's wearing a dress. You know, and in the future, yeah, yeah. that would have really made this episode quite different. I think if they really approached, but it seems like they removed that. all that material because they were scared. Uh, it was still kind of there because, like, he lets them pick. Yeah, yeah. What well, they want to be asks, yeah. "Law, what do you, yeah. what do you, what, yeah. what race gender. and gender do you want to be?" Because you know you haven't. But that yeah, kind of complicates then, it, you know. And then Allah only uh, views it as like Oof. a binary, which is kind of you know outdated yeah. by this point as well. Yeah, Star again, Star Trek progressive for its time. Not. Right. <laughs> I mean, it was it was cool that they're like you can pick from all of these different. Um, yeah, it's like on on like and... good on you, Data. You're letting them decide for themselves, but also that person is like, I only have two options. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am. And I'm I inadequate interested... if I can't choose one. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> it's really weird. Kind of yeah. weird. Uh... I mean, it is interesting that Law chose to be a human woman. I yeah, what, like, if really? Law had res- <laughs> what if Law had responded and said, I have no desire to choose a gender? You know, that could have been interesting. But Yeah. Mm. yeah. You all, these days, you don't. You can be non-binary. You don't exactly, have to, exactly. Yeah, you exactly. can yeah. be open. But I mean, it is interesting she chose to be a human woman, which is, you know, I don't know how it is in this time, but current day, women are pretty uh, not respected very much or equal. As, all the, the not respected in Star Trek. <laughs> They're also but viewed as. I think as... it's just like, damn, you know, it's like if I could, <laughs> maybe, if I could pick, maybe. Maybe. Well, they're also viewed as naive and innocent, and I think yeah. that's kind of what yeah. they wanted I, I, out of this I, I character. I think that was the writer being like, oh, she's just an innocent girl. Right. I, I don't her. think you would feel the same way if it was like, you know, a weird alien, uh, a male alien person, like the green person that they picked. Yeah, you yeah. know what show yeah. actually tried to go that route and like nearly failed and almost kind of like kind of did with me as a kid? Beast Wars. Oh. Remember Transmutate? Mm. Yeah, that's true. And how he like he he couldn't transform. He was like just like it, he was pretty much disabled. Yeah, that's a, if you take that as an actual allegory, it's kind of problematic. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, it, but then to me, they, just, they they attempted. They did, well, I think they were just they were just like, oh, this is like a thing in the context. I don't. I I can't imagine they were actually thinking of that as allegory because. It seems like it's really not great. <laughs> yeah. It seems really specific to the mechanics of how fucking Beast Wars and trans, uh, I almost said Transmorphers, Transformers work. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was very specific to that show, how it's like, well, this is the one like bot that cannot assume a form in the native right. or like, you know, in the local land or whatever. Right. But anyway, sorry, that, that's a derailment. Uh, Beast Wars is cool, though. Everyone should <laughs> check it out. The, the mainframe series anyway watch beast wars and then but stop. not beast machines just stop after beast wars is over fuck oh, you could've. beast machines <laughs> ruined everything <laughs> you really really did <laughs> uh. oh yeah star trek mm-hmm. um so this is a an, a very interesting episode because of that uh, there's a lot of topics that it covers that that are very interesting but they didn't they it's just it should have been two two episodes, two parter, mm. too many too many things to cover. But let's get into it. Let's roll into it. Here we go. Starts off. We got the walk and talk. We got the sork and walk and talk. Yeah, very shaky version. They're they yeah. not using a steady cam. Yeah. So it's Wesley, it's Jordy, and it's uh, Deanna, mm-hmm. and they're talking. They're really excited. They all got called into Data's. It's not his. It's not his. His quarters. It's like a lab. It's like his lab. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a lab that he has access to. Yeah, but he's alone all the time there. That that's what was interesting. Uh, I think I think it might be like just a lab that he is allowed access to specifically. It's like his lab. 
Like, mm. I think like like Wesley has also his lab. We saw it at the beginning of this season when he, he overslept. Yeah, they seem to be able to lab. afford some like lab space and time to personal projects, I guess. Yeah. That, that, that was actually kind of cool about the one different thing about this episode is like, it's really about, it's like a personal project episode, kind of like there's no- Kind of, yeah, yeah. There's no yeah. like- Threat or I guess, outside. Person. That's true. Well, there guess, well there is ends up being with that admiral guy. He that well, admiral. no, I mean, but he's still part of the star. I meant like from like a different planet or like an alien, or we have to Uber somewhere. Or yeah, 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 to, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's not a, it's not an enemy of the week episode. No, it's, it's yeah, not, yeah. and it's like you know, hey, this is what we do in our off time when things are a little slow. We create children. <laughs> I don't know. Like I mean, since the Enterprise is a science and exploration vessel, it does make sense that yeah, it totally. would give yeah. its crew members like an ability like the the wherewithal to do research on their own. They gotta do science. Yeah. This, this is the whole point of the, the vehicle. There you go. So they're gonna go to his lab and they go in there <clears throat> and they're all excited and, and they're like, oh he's been locked in there since the like science fair and like all this stuff and yeah <laughs> since the science fair. Yes. It <laughs> It's it's kind of weird, and I'm thinking, like, what's happening in there? What's he doing? Do you figure out masturbating? But then everyone everyone's like, just messing around with feet. <laughs> yeah, he's just messing everyone. around with a severed foot yeah. in there. Who everyone? Who I've this discovered episode? a new fetish. Yeah. Yeah. Who who directed this episode? Was it that Tim guy that directed the other episode with the feet? Dude? <laughs> I don't know. He's like he's oh, like. Hey, well, there actually, is a foot shot in here. That's this episode very weird. is actually the directing debut of Jonathan Frakes. That's <gasps> true. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh it's my actually, god, really? This is the yep. first How did time I he's ever. That in the credits. Well, That's we're crazy. watching the show. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jonathan Frakes. Yeah, it's oh his first god. first time directing. No wonder yeah. he's like not in it a lot. Loves yeah. feet. Loves feet. Actually, come to think of it, that could be a very good reason as to why he's just like in a cameo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Like he's in it for like a split second, but that may that makes perfect sense. If this was the first, I mean, he can't do two jobs. This is way too much. But yeah. later on, in other, because this is not the this is not the only time he's going to direct TNG. Yeah, they probably it did is. it just so that hey, for your first directing episode, like let's give you a, a light amount of acting so you don't have to overtax you. Oh, that's you. so cool, Jonathan Frakes. I yeah, he's also you. directed a few of the Star Trek movies. So yeah. He he went on to be which like ones, which uh, ones? Uh, I forget. It's like, oh, I mean, to be fair, uh, sorry, Scott, but I don't think much of the, <laughs> the TNG movies are great. <laughs> uh, but at least for TNG, it, so t- in the movies, he directed uh, First Contact and Insurrection, which I guess are the better ones, like because First Contact is the the time travel one, Insurrection is the one that's basically, I think, an episode. Right, and then you have the one with Tom Hardy, but I forget. Is yeah, it, was, dude, that's the best one where he's like, <laughs> oh, "My name is Captain Picard." <laughs> yeah, like I'm, I'm you, and in order to make sure I look yeah. just like you, I will shave my head. Uh, <laughs> no one cared who I was before I put on the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that turns out right. Uh, Frakes uh, directed eight episodes of TNG. Yeah, wow. eight episodes, even some of DS9, some of Voyager. Um, yeah, he did of, go on yeah. to direct some of those as well. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's done well. Three for episodes himself. of each, DS9 and Voyager. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 wow. he likes directing. Yeah, He likes a party. Yeah. That's what I found out. It's true. So the, the episode starts off, and there's a feet shot, so Frakes yeah, is into- Yeah, there's a weird Frakes foot is a freak. <laughs> um, it's in a, a good way, in a good way. No, it's, then, re- it's kind of a weird foot shot. Yeah. Uh, and and so he's putting together a, a, this foot on this thing, and then so he he it gets sucked up into the cylinder, then comes back down, and the, the foot's moving now. Mm-hmm. And basically, <clears throat> it's like um, it's like a it's hard to describe. It's like a it, it's like a robot that has like skin, but it's got no like genitalia or nipples. <laughs> yeah, here's it here's what really it looks weird. like. It looks like the Netflix adaptation of Dragon Ball Z's Frieza. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Why is its its face look so weird? Why does its face look like that? Oof! I I think they're its just like face looks so like its mouth is like just give like it a weird strange thing so that thing. we can no wait I'm sorry this is Netflix adaptation of uh, Dragon Dragon Ball Z's Boo this is Boo <laughs> Boo is uh like like a skinny androgynous buff thing yeah <laughs> like I don't I don't like the way this looks it like kind of really scares me yeah it's well, a little off putting like. It's well, it's really, it's really disturbing. That's why Data and Deanna are encouraging Lol to to change as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, because it looks really <laughs> terrifying. Look, it looks like something out of a nightmare. I yeah. definitely would not 
be okay with this. It it does it does feel nightmarish. Um, so they're like, "What the fuck is this, dude?" And he's like, "Oh, this is halal." Uh, <laughs> and he's like, it's like it's like the it's like the the meat. Yeah. And he's like, "No, just lol." I added the hal. <laughs> uh, and he's like, he's like, "How are you, lol?" And then he's like, "Yeah, I'm a robot, and I like to party." <laughs> and so basically, we find out that. The data was a Tashi station and he found some power converters that finally work yeah. and he was able to make his daughter. Mm-hmm. He, he made not, well, not, we don't know yet that it's, it's, it's a female, but he made, um, a child, another version of himself. Basically. Yeah. He made the offspring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was trying to stay away from that. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Uh, Didn't have it on recording yet. It had to be there. <laughs> that was, um, that was a lot. So he made this offspring and everybody's like, what the fuck, dude? What'd you do? And he, and like, it's, uh, it's already learning things, you know? And mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's like a, like a child basically. And um, you find out that, that Riker's off planet, you know, it's a crazy, here's a, qu- a crazy theory I have. This is before I knew that Frakes tricked. Okay. I thought they had gone to the, like the science fair, right? Mm-hmm. And then Riker was like, oh, I just got my hands on this new goddamn hologram thing <laughs> that makes the harps lady, harp ladies even more real. Dude. They make him life size instead of small. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, none of this little, little people fucking porno. <laughs> Full size live action porno, and so he's like, "I'm gonna need like a week off of work. I'm gonna need Express VPN, and I'm gonna go to town on these holograms." Mm-hmm. That's what I thought originally, but he's not there. He's he's he. They make, they make up some bullshit 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 <laughs> bullshit idea <laughs> bullshit uh, story about where he's at. Mm-hmm. So everybody's like, "What the fuck did Data do?" And they, they call they call the captain. And the captain's like, what the fuck did you do, dude? Like, <laughs> why didn't you tell us you were doing this? And, and he's like, well, you know, like, he, he's like, I basically follow all the rules. Like, I didn't break any rules while I'm making this thing, you know? It's true. It's like, why are you mad? Yeah. <clears throat> I actually really agree that um, Data should have told Picard. Like, that's really fucked up that he didn't. No one follows the rules on this goddamn ship, dude. But no how one. can he? Yeah, but I mean, I feel like you can't just go ahead and make... <laughs> A daughter and not tell Picard. Like, that's like, he gets really pissed. He's just no, like, I know. no, you need to tell me. Like, you can't just go off and do this shit on your own. Like, yeah. But, but it's on brand, Sarah, if you think about it. Yeah. The, West, the fucking war criminal known as Wesley. Well, just because everyone he, doesn't mean that everyone does it doesn't mean it's okay. No. He built that goddamn, like, yeah. Bomb. Well, data, data is just like a war machine that yeah, if, it, if, it, if, it, if they drop it slightly, it could cause an, a, a, like a subatomic explosion. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the record, Data's own retort toward Picard's like rebook of him having made lol is yeah. like, well, I don't think anyone else comes to you to talk about how to procreate, dude. Yeah, no one's telling you to fuck, dude, you piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, no one's telling you <laughs> to have way, sex. <laughs> um, if, you got, if you guys want some spaghetti and you want to have a f- nice family meal, you go to Rebuca de Beppo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you said you said that, and that's all I could think about. I was like, "Oh man, I can cook some spaghetti, dude!" From Rebuca all right, let me Beppo. retake that rebuke. Uh, <laughs> however, you like it. Rebuke, uh, rebuke, rebuke the beep you. <laughs> How are you? Rebuke the beep you. I don't know why I got really hungry all of a sudden. Uh, <clears throat> so then. Um, so the captain's like, oh, fuck, dude. And he's breathing. He's sighing heavily. And he's like. Yeah. Um, he's really mad. It kind of looks like him. <laughs> yeah. Like bald, like a weird version yeah. of He's like, why does he look like me? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, this that is mean? weird. <laughs> this is weird. And and even Troy's like, he's like, why did you make it look kind of like humanoid? And he's like, oh, you know, like I, I didn't choose. I didn't, I didn't choose its its sex. It, they, <laughs> they have to choose for themselves. <laughs> And I like that because <clears throat> mm-hmm. no one gave. Da- I'm sure no one gave Data the the, the no. option. So Data just, just woke up with a heart. Oh, on. I wonder what yeah. Data would choose. <laughs> Maybe he would choose. Good question. To be, I don't know. Both, yeah. both. Yeah. <laughs> I would like all options available. Yes, all of the above. <laughs> Honestly, I mean that kind of sounds pretty good. Dude. Modular human bodies sounds yeah, okay. Like modular, yeah. yeah. Like if you could like interchange, you know, like switch it out or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Today as long I want as it's safe, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Today I want all my limbs to be feet. <laughs> Tomorrow I want all of them to be hands. And the next yeah. day, I'll be 
Edward Dickhands. So all my <laughs> fingers will be dicks. <laughs> exactly. So then Deanna's like, Deanna's like, basically like, uh, the Kevin's pissed, and Deanna's like, calm down, dude, chill out, dude. Like, uh, who are we to? <clears throat> we don't, we don't govern who could have kids and who can't. So like, why is, why is it because his is technological and and not biological? Why is it different? Do you mean? Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the same card's just getting really angry that it's being called a kid at all. He's like, that's yeah. not a child. It's like it God wasn't damn conceived it. by a P <laughs> entering a V. So we can't do this. Can't be called. A child. Yeah, well, he seems yeah. to. Yeah, he seems to be hung up on the fact that like this is an adult-sized humanoid that can understand things and talk and like is clearly like beyond the capabilities of an actual human child. I'm also really confused about the the perceived age range of this child because sometimes it's. Appears well, very that's, young. That's always the weird quandary when it comes later, to like a created life form that is already like in an adult like sized like yeah, container. Like, like what are we talking about here? You know, because like it's some, a very common thing for a yeah. robot to be very very young, like technically in terms of like recently built or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's like, like oh, I'm only one year old, that? but you know everything. I'm only one year old though. Ooh. Yeah, but what are the morals around <laughs> that? Like, do you hang out with one year olds or do you hang out with people that look? Your age. Well, and then uh, we'll get into it later, but some yeah. weird stuff happens. Yeah. Starfleet so. School attempted to solve that to disastrous results. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so then, um, which is, this is interesting. The, 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 this is my thought about having kids. Don't do it. <laughs> <sighs> I don't. I, I don't want to do it because I'm going to offend a lot of people, a lot of dumb people. No, no, don't. Um, <clears throat> but I'll, I'll, I'm going to pivot it and, and, and say something that's bugged me for a long time. Okay. You can go and have a kid. And you could name it whatever you want. There's a few things you can't name your kid. You can't name it like Adolf Hitler. So there's like <laughs> there's very few rules. Like you can't call it your kid asshole or something, you know? Yeah. But besides that, you can do whatever the fuck you want, dude. You could you want all vowels. Wait, hold on. For the record, is there an You can do it. Is there an actual law against whole against naming your kid Adolf Hitler? I I don't think it's a law. I think it's just frowned upon, and um, it's up to the clerk. I think there's maybe actually. in Germany. I don't. Think. I, I Probably think in, in Cal- Germany. I would believe it in Germany. In but. California, I know there's actually a law that prevents you from naming your child something cruel. Okay, it's, it's actually a thing. Unless you, you want to name them cruel, cruel the conqueror. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, California has weird ass names for people. Yeah. So. <laughs> what Star. if you name them King K. Rule? <laughs> That's true. That's, That's pretty true. baller. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you can name them anything you want to. But God forbid I try to put ass man on my license plate, vanity <laughs> license plate. Because <laughs> goddamn DMV will shoot a fucking brick, dude. They're like, you can't put that. You can't put ass man. Why can't they I put ass man? They won't let you put that? No, no. They, they they regulate that very strictly on what you can put on your identity. <laughs> wow. But if you Are want you to sure it's not just because ass man's already taken. Probably, probably. Yeah. You gotta get the, the employee was saving it for if, themselves. Yeah, because yeah, if, if it's if it's acceptable, it's taken. <laughs> yeah, but but what if you do um D, like for duh, uh mm-hmm. A Z as and then M A N. Boom. That's mm-hmm. not taken. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to try to register that after this. <laughs> All right, do it. <laughs> um, so find me at the Ashman on Twitter. Um, <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, there's a lot of like loyal Star Trek listeners that are like, God damn it, this is my first episode and this is what I roll into. <laughs> An hour into this yeah. episode, and they we're still not in even- the teaser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're still in the opening. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> anyway, like he he uh, no, we got the, past captain, the intro. Yeah, we got oh, that's, past true, that's, true, that's true. That's true. The ca- the captain's like scolding him, and he basically like Data's like, "No, nah, don't worry about it. Like I follow the rules, the regulations, everything's fine." And basically, like <laughs> it, they're trying, they're I'm trying to figure out why they're so upset, and I can't figure it out completely. Like, at, by the end of this episode, like, he turns Picard. Like, Picard's like, no, I must protect him. Like, that's yeah. his that's his offspring. And, and like, that's, you know, like, it, it turns him. But, like, I still don't understand why he's against it in the beginning. Because, like, even now, like, we know, like, that, like, we're going to eventually encounter that problem. Yeah. I think part of it is that, one, Picard doesn't, like, change. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and yeah, to, and it's also like very disruptive to like. Pr- pr- it could presumably be viewed. He knows as that politically this will be a problem, so he's probably yes, like, yes. He oh, also views this as a huge political like quagmire yeah. about to happen because it's like, well, this is a brand new life form, a brand new data. We already have enough trouble with one data. Um, yeah, 
Like, also, Picard you know, hates children. So that's true. true. But, that's you know that's a known fact. You know what I was thinking is like, why isn't Data stuck in some government, like in some fe- sorry government, some Federation building, science building, and they're just studying him twenty four seven? Why are they like, oh, you're a sentient being, and you have you okay, okay, cool, cool. Well, why? it's think- weird that he got this far without yeah. Picard's help. Yeah, I think yeah, I think what happened is that like kind of de facto. Before Starfleet, he was kind of allowed to be like, okay, well, there's no defined rules yet, but for now, we're going to just treat you as you're just a person. And what do you want to do? I want to go to Starfleet. Okay, cool. We'll yeah, do that, that doesn't seem to line up with their approach in this episode, at least. Yeah, I don't know. They're so I don't, aggressive I don't with this new life form. Yeah, this, it pro- you probably have a lot of explanation they would need to really justify what happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. This is was a part of the episode that I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck are they doing? Why are they so upset? Why did yeah. they do? Th- why? Did, why is is data okay? Yeah, but I got one more creature. potential like factor as to why Picard might be upset. They're in it's Canada because he oh, himself <laughs> um, contributed to defining it- the parameters of Data's life. It's like but- he has a personal stake in androids and like their status as sentient beings. Because but, he had to kind of defend it himself. But what I find odd hmm. about this episode is why are they kind of rehashing and redefending data as a person? Again? Yeah. Like why yeah. why is this why does this higher up think he can come in and just demand data where to go? I don't go know. Maybe maybe they saw this as like, an opportunity for Picard to like have a like another minor arc of growth and like, wait, I need to go the extra mile and also extend the rights of like procreation. To this person, have already defended once as an individual. Yeah, it's just I don't weird know. that they kind of like ignore all the laws and well, work they, they've well, done they, around they, this already. They, they actually like actively acknowledge it, but then then they keep saying, "But then that you can have be to overruled? listen to my orders." Yeah, so or that something. doesn't make sense. So like, which is you, weird because then you'll be like, or whatever. But then you can just be like, "Oh, forget it." I yeah, I don't know. That's my order. I well, ordered you Picard to go do this. Picard does like call that out though. Yeah. If, if we were he does. talking about. But it's weird for this guy to even try it knowing that. Well, we haven't gotten to there yet. So when we illegal, get there, we can, we can you know, talk about that part. I don't know. So the question becomes, when does life become life? When it, it's a whole thing. We're rehashing the whole uh, measure of man thing, you know? Yeah. It's kind of a continuation. Of but it. no dicks were measured in this one. Mm-hmm. Again. God damn it. Fuck, dude. Really upset, dude. <laughs> okay, so then they continue. They let they they keep they, they keep asking questions and like kind of opposing a little bit. But at the end, they're like, "Yeah, well, you keep doing what you're doing, you know." And so yeah. they have the Picard's very upset though. Like, yeah, he's he's so upset he does a double face palm. Like, yeah, true. The, the, the famous picture of him with his head in his hands. <laughs> and so they have Lal pick what 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 it wants to look like, and it it it, it it's funny. There's a really funny scene where. <laughs> He's like, how many options? Seven thousand, several thousand, and then the next scene it, it hard cuts and it, it's uh, Deanna Troy waking up in the holodeck. She's just yeah. passed out against like <laughs> yeah. the bare wall of yeah. the holodeck. The holodeck. It's not could even make a bed for her. Yeah, they could have yeah. made anything nicer for her to sit in. <laughs> literally, or, or, you know, literally yeah. make yeah. a make a beautiful garden. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, for me to yeah. lay on by by yeah. a crick. A um, bean bag, no. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least a bean bag. <laughs> At least wait, a sack wait, of wait. rice. Did you, just call it, did you just say a crick? Yeah. Oh, this brings up an age old debate that oh, what, I've what is had it? with people. What is it? Like you say instead of creek. No, it's creek. I, I said it differently just because I creek. knew I knew this was gonna okay. it was gonna trigger somebody to say yeah. something. And it's <laughs> always a good bit. In the southern in the <laughs> in the south it, Sarah. in the south, <laughs> it was always a you know, crick. Yeah. What it's just a dialect thing. And whether I would or not you call like, what soda is a pop or yeah. No, I, I don't know what a crick is. What is, what is it, crickets? You guys have cricket problems? Like let's go. <laughs> hey, to you know what? If you're one of those <laughs> crazy ass Georgians crick- that calls all soda coke, I can't I can't hang with y'all. <laughs> that's that's my wife. Y'all that's are crazy. Fucked up. <laughs> really? That's fucked up. That's fucked up. All soda is not coke. What? Well well, because that's what and, Georgians and, believe. And here here's here's here is I don't defend Georgia many of the time because <laughs> they're wrong most of the time, especially politically. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to defend them right now. Which is, uh, you guys mentioned Pepsi a, a, a while ago because Pepsi 
sponsored they the, sponsored the Nintendo, Nintendo Championships. And I was yeah. going to say then, but we're having technical difficulties, <laughs> mm. that Pepsi, I fucking hate Pepsi. There's mm. nothing that angers yeah. me more. I've been to, uh, a little while ago, the doctor was like, well, I went to the doctor, and this is a long story to get to the fact that I hate Pepsi. <laughs> the doctor <laughs> said, oh, it's some, some tests came back weird. Just don't drink right now. Just I want to see what, what you know? And I'm the like, doctor's cool. name Pepper? Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I wasn't drinking, and I went to I went out to eat, and I said, "Oh, can I get a Coke? Because I love Coke. I love Coca Cola." And they were like, "What mm. flavor?" And and <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they were Fuck like, "You." They were like, "Fuck all everything is, about this story." All, all we have is Pepsi, and I said, oh. "Never mind, give me a beer." <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, "I'd rather drink anything else but Pepsi, dude." Yeah, I will, Pepsi. If I was on fire, awful. I wouldn't want you to throw Pepsi on me. <laughs> <'cause> it's <laughs> <so> <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's how much I hate Pepsi, and I'll I'll defend that. Every, everything should be Coke. Everything should be Coke products, not yeah. Pepsi. Well, but, so, like, how does what it I, work? What I mean then is, when is you like order a Coke. Well, that the the issue isn't that like like cola flavored products are all called Coke. It's that Sprite is also called yeah, Coke. Yeah. Fanta is called. So Coke. when you order, like when that's you order what I'm Coke, about. what yeah. do yeah. you? Ha- they then ask you what what flavor, flavor? and you yeah. say I want a co- I want a cola or a Coca Cola or a Pepsi or what have you. Like you can or get specific Sprite. from there. But if you start from Coke, that's what they yeah. call pop and soda. Yeah. Oh my god! Well, it's kind of. I feel like it's so code. You can for, get an orange Coke. Well, it's code to to no, weed out people. What if they're like, oh, well, then they would say, oh, we don't have Coke, we, we have Pepsi, and they'd be like, you know what? Get the fuck out of the state. Get the fuck out, dude. <laughs> I mean, not, it is it is a state. state. It is a state where Coke is made, right? Well, and yes. that's why that's yeah, yeah. that's kind of why it pl- proliferated crazy. in that way. No, yeah. I don't like that. I'm with you, Dan. I not all sodas are Cokes. There, sh- no. there should be. They should be Coke because it's a great product. Yeah, I love Coke. I do love. That's Coke. no. That's not, the not capitalist dystopia you're you're dealing with here. Look, like you Coke, you could have right? you could have um, RC. I don't mind that RC is fine. You could have <laughs> other. Uh, excuse me, Royal Barks. Crown. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can have Royal Put Crown. some respect on its name, please. But no goddamn Pepsi, <laughs> Wait, dude. Wait, Dr. Pib, Dr. Pepper? No, no Mr. Pib. Pib Mr. did not Pib get did. a degree. <laughs> No, Pib, wait, Pib was a college dropout, remained wait, a Mr. It's, Pib. Wait, wait, it's Dr. Pepper, Pib Mr. Pib. Pib has a BA at best. And then, uh, and then there's another knockoff Dr. Pepper one. It's like Thunder or something. No, so okay, now Thunder? you're getting into like grocery stores <laughs> yeah. making their, the, that, there's there's so many of those. Yeah, there's too many. Those. You can't count those. There's too many. That's like counting all the Walgreens <laughs> different that. versions yeah. of things. We can't do that. Just, can't Dr. Do K that. is pretty good though. <laughs> I know that Dan. I know that Dan Among is a them? huge Doctor Pib arts. Oh my God, Sarah! <laughs> Why do you keep giving him an honorary degree? Not a doctor. <laughs> I'm about to leave this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Pepper. I'm sorry, God, Doctor Pepper. <laughs> Doctor Pib. <laughs> Doctor. Uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Dr. I rather have Shasta than drink fucking Pepsi. That's <laughs> I used to that. say that, but then Shasta fucking changed its formula, dude. They started putting sucralose in everything, and that fucked it up. Mm. Yeah, I I still rather have that than Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen the memes, the challenges online where people try to drink like a Sprite from McDonald's without like it like burning your like throat because of the like carbonation? Why what? specifically for McDonald's? Why because would that matter? The, the Sprite from McDonald's is like very carbonate. Like it's like literally would like, have you not ex- noticed this? Like getting a Wouldn't Sprite Wouldn't that from vary McDonald's? depending on how they've mixed their machine? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just a common experience, but there's like a, a challenge uh, online where people try nobody to has drink better, Sprite I don't, without like soft drinks burping McDonald's. or something. I, I yeah. don't believe any of those challenges. I don't believe them. I mean, I can. Re- I. I well, do. what's there to believe about them? <laughs> that, that they are. Like they don't, ex- they don't exist. <laughs> so you could you could drink a whole sprite from McDonald's and not burp. Well, probably not, but. <laughs> I, I, it's just weird to me that it has to specifically be for McDonald's. That's all. Because they have like really carb. They like carbonate. I mean, it's usually like pretty carbonated. Their their fountain drinks. I think if they do it right. No, I'll need to. So. I'll need to test this out later. Anyway, that was our soda. Sorry, I started off this soda thing, but I can talk a lot about soda. Believe you me. <laughs> I like soda with a lot of ice. A lot of ice. Full I- cup of ice. I like a lot of ice too, but I don't like that it takes. Uh, look, we're gonna get into deep fucking soda conversations here. Yeah, we, we gotta go back. <clears throat> to I'll move the on. Crick. I'll move on. Yeah. The crick. 
Um, the crick, the crick. No, we're, uh, we're past the we're past the yeah. crick. Oh yeah, that's so, what prompted me. So the 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 robot um has picks has four if narrowed down to four, a little green lady with little little spikes and Deanna Troy Thompson. Back all to of the them. TOS, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little green man, and he's like, oh, the little green green person. That's that's cute. That's cute. Uh, but you know, the, it, it'll be the only one on board that has that. That's that race, so that'll be interesting. He's like, oh, okay, a very attractive. I mean, that male. wouldn't be that'd be no functionally the there. same. <laughs> yeah, that'd be functionally the same as what he already was or what they yeah, already were. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, so uh, a human male, and he's like, oh, no problem socializing there because <laughs> yeah. Deanna's interested. He's like, oh yeah. boy, <laughs> yeah, already. And then, and then this uh, this woman, uh, mm-hmm. and then. Um, uh, Warfian. What are they called? <laughs> Klingons. 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 Just yeah. call them Warfians from now on. Yeah, I like Warfians, Warfians, though. They could be a friend. Warfians or... are worse orphan kids. And when he dies, he leaves a bunch of <laughs> Warfians. <laughs> War- yeah, w- those are Warfians. <laughs> Not Warfians, He's but all. Warfians. He's all, if I die, you must bond with my Warfians. You're my blood brother, but... You, oh, you, will, you will be their blood brother for life. Goodbye. But I then know. abandon them as well. <laughs> Hey man, um, Worf does right by all of his family. <laughs> that's true. He's like, when you turn 16, we'll beat you and insult you. Um, <laughs> and then so they finally make synthetic skin for, for the robot. And um, it's, it's, a, it's a female mm-hmm. with it's like a, a bob girl. haircut. Yeah. They yeah, do the it's a, it's a girl thing, yeah. right? Don't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And so now we have Amelie. Gender reveal. <laughs> yeah. Literally. And Amelie... Uh, I'm a lol, lol, <laughs> Millie, <laughs> lal. Take your um, pick. <laughs> and lol is played by um, Haley Todd, and I recognize her. I was like, "Ooh, I, I recognize this lady." Mm. And uh, she's a character actor. She's been in a bunch of shit. You recognize? She plays like the the mom here and there, and like uh, he, she's in a lot of she's in a lot of Christian movies. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she's in a bunch of TV. That's why you, that's why you recognize her. Okay. okay. Um, but then, uh, but she looked. She reminded me a lot of a different actress who's like, who's a comedic actress. That's why I was like, yeah, this, this you were uh, like. I think the exact same thought process was going through my right? own head, but I couldn't remember who it was, who she reminded me of. I I can't either. I can't pinpoint it, but definitely she's got like a like a really funny comedy vibe to her that I'm like, oh, did she, who is it? But she I seems like a comedy pinpoint. actor from the way she's yeah. acting mm-hmm. and the way she's moving. Yeah. 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 She's doing she's the whole like the whole bit where you're like, she's kind of doing the the the, the small wonder bit. You know, you guys yeah, know like, she's yeah. totally being yeah. Vicky. Like I was yeah. just getting intense Vicky vibes in her first scenes yeah. with Data in the quarters. <laughs> oh no! What are these? These are flowers. Oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> cold, <laughs> cold. Yeah, yeah. Painting. Cry, and then you know a stream of water shoots out her eyeball. Yeah, yeah. And and Data's like teaching her a bunch of shit, dude. You know, like this is how you snort cocaine in the <laughs> yeah, like, Why is he spending so much time ale. teaching her how to eat and drink when that's something he doesn't actually need to do? I don't know. Uh, Data can eat and drink. I know, but he doesn't need does, to. Does Data but he insists does on Data teaching shit? her this. He might. He might. He might be teaching it well, because it's like a, a social ways. activity yeah. humans do. And what that is it? Like re- fucking crazy. Because Data also participates in those activities just to feel like he belongs. So. Can you can you can you imagine a world where we where we shit in public but we eat in privately? You know, <laughs> like you would go to a room and just hide and eat. You're like, oh fuck! You know, but I, but everyone like like socially proves. Yeah, yeah you're like, mean, Tim, Tim. Oh my god! What 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 did, what did you eat? Wait, what prompted uh, you're this that. question? It, it used <laughs> no, to be like that. It totally used to be like that. It. Okay, it used I, to I, be thought like we, that, I thought we got led here somehow. No, Ricardo led us here. I led us there. Back in the day, there was the. It was a place where you would go to these like common areas and you'd shit in with everybody and you'd all Oh talk. yeah, yeah. There's only Roman one days. big yeah. toilet and you all yeah. have yeah, to exactly. go at the same I mean, time. Oh, it used to be like that. <laughs> well, same thing with baths. Like yeah. in the old Roman days, you, everybody would bathe in the same goddamn well, modern dirty day water. Too. A lot of, a lot of Asian bathhouses, that's how that works. Wait, was the vomitorium a real thing? No, it's not a real I, thing. I so, hope so. Okay. <laughs> well, vom- I love cause, eating. Cuz vomit in uh Ew, uh in in the is a direct uh Roman translation, but it really meant like a place where a lot of people can exit at once. So a vomitorium really meant a big exit of like of like a of like a coliseum or something. Okay. That's all that's oh. all it meant. Yeah. Fair enough. All right, whatever, dude. Didn't <laughs> throw up. <laughs> what did they wipe with? Hands. Three right, seashells. So, 
<laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Same dirty butt water. Yeah. Um, so he, he's teaching her how to eat and stuff. And he's like, oh, you put her in. And he, and then she does a, this is what reminded me of her, of a, of a comedy actress. Is she does a, a weird spit take. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. She forgets the old to robot swap. doesn't know how to swallow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you put it in your mouth and then you take a gulp and she's like, Bleh, and then it falls all out. And I'm like, that's a good bit. That's a, <laughs> still plays. I've seen it a million times and it's still funny. Yeah. She committed. <laughs> she got it all over yeah. herself. Yeah. I want then, to take this conversation out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do it. Take it out of the context. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> and then and then he gives her this little gizmo, the, um, <laughs> which is like like a little thing outside her head that he puts on her that will basically um, make her even more sentient, right? Like more like self aware. I think. I think- I think what the 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 initial he didn't initially transfer everything of his over. Yeah, right. so he's like adding bits and pieces over as much as he can. Like he yeah. only has like a USB 2.0 connection, not a 3.0. Yeah. So it's taking a while to get everything over. So that's why everyone every night he goes over and goes, "Okay, now I'm going to add give you my ability to sit correctly or today I'm going to give you my the ability to jump." stuff like that so and then so he, so basically like marvin said he got he downloads more of more of him into her which sounds really dirty by the way yeah yeah he puts more of him into her yeah yeah not, every, not night, every night every night every <laughs> night and and then and then of course picard the goddamn snitch uh tells admiral like Fucking hey this snitch. is what's happening and he's the the, the admiral it's funny because the first thing i thought was like oh boy they're gonna make terminators they're gonna weaponize it Fuck yeah it. yeah federation bullshit, bullshit i think that's what they wanted to do i yeah. mean kind of oh, just for sure. like have for sure. the ability to mm-hmm. you know a hundred percent that's what i think they were gonna do and they're like they're like they're like oh we have a we have an enor- enormous admiration for what data can do and and you know who, for what he is but we're gonna need to get our eyes on that thing you know and he gets all fucking he's hard on for it dude he already yeah. knows he could weaponize it it's fucking yeah. shit dude and he's like, all right, well, you keep keep it there, keep it warm for me, and then I'll I'll show up and I'll take I'll, I'll take a look. Yeah, you know he already had plans to take it. So oh yeah, piece of shit, fucking admiral, dude, always taking what they didn't create. Admirals are always bad guys. Yeah, yeah it seems that show. way. <laughs> I don't think we've met one like decent admiral in this entire show so far. Yeah, I'm not sure it's happened yet. I'm curious to know if there are any good admirals out there. Send us an email if you're an admiral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's in know. general in real yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So they uh, there's a lot of things that he's he's going through. Like the first thing is he takes her to school, and he's basically like, "Hey, she's not fitting in. Look at her, dude. It's like the movie Jack with her. Uh, oh <laughs> yeah, fucking, actually, with, uh, that's a good yeah, pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like Jack from uh from the uh, with what is it? not Eddie Murphy, no, Robin God Williams, Robin yeah, Williams, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm not a you know what's so crazy is that that's a Francis Ford Coppola movie. Really? It is? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, All I can is. remember is the line from the trailer. I'm not a freak. You're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all I remember that movie. This whole thing. That's the one where it ends with him like graduating, but he's like 70 or something, right? Or something like that. Or really? what is, what is yeah. that? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Okay. Th- there's a lot of movies like that, 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 that like, there's a man a misplaced, you know, like Benjamin Button's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little the bit, Benjamin yeah. Button genre. Uh, yeah, wrong yeah. the wrong age in the well. Wrong that's scenario. what I mean. But like, what do you guys do? You feel I feel weird. There's so many instances in this episode where I'm like, well, that's inappropriate for the perceived age, and it's like, how old is this person supposed to be? Well, I think that's right. part of the, the the thing they're exploring is they're trying to figure out. I think it's don't, very don't, hard to apply our like. Like, standards and and perceptions to a life form like that. Yeah, yeah. I think, so and, weird. And, and part of the episode is exploring that to be like, I know, okay, but they never really to... they never answer it though. Well, yeah, because because the, okay, the, she's working in a bar. She's she's then she's in a group of little with question. little kids. Yeah, they're then trying to figure it out. They don't know. You know yeah, yeah. I don't think it, they it could it could it just out. it could very well be like the kind of thing where like, hey, in this type of society we've created. Uh, she fits nowhere, so we're trying to have her learn a bit from everywhere a little bit. Cause but, like, in order for ha- to have other people or humans interact with her, we have to have some sort of concept of her age. Yeah. Uh, to know uh, what's appropriate or not. Well, yeah. I guess you can, like, uh, the best yeah. you can do is like, try to use Data himself as a model, I guess. Like, what yeah. was his socialization like? 
Yeah, and what did it, he go and through? We never really seen it. Yeah, so. exactly. Like that's so why it's kind of hard like, to like. Even though data and like robots don't uh, like apply or like age doesn't apply to them in order for us to interact with them i guess morally appropriately we kind of have to have some kind of reference yeah maybe think. it's like a some sort of measurement of mental maturity versus well supposedly yeah, that's very hard she's to quantify totally mature because she knows everything there is to know yet i don't know well the maturity isn't knowledge it's experience and she has no experience so yeah so i think that's what they try to I don't know. I don't. I mean, know Data do says it says it as much himself in that scene where that's he's true. talking to her. He he very specifically goes, "That's a difference between knowledge and experience." So she she does no, have the some knowledge of human like humanity, but the, none of the experience to attach it to. And that's it that's is interesting part. that Data's supposed form of re- of like procreation is essentially creating like a complete replica of his own brain. Like mm. it isn't like it isn't like half of his genes were inherited or anything like that. It's like almost yeah. like asexual reproduction with yeah. a different skin on it. But yeah, she yeah. does. She does evolve. In well, I mean, that's how that's way. how single cell organisms also procreate in the sense that um, they do they do try to do a copy, but there's always variances, and that's almost, yeah, that's what mutations are. Yeah, so this is essentially the same thing where he tried to make an exact copy, but there are variances. Yeah, you know what's so crazy? I They're called apostrophes. This. <laughs> Jack was directed by Franz Ford Coppola mm-hmm. and written by James DeMonico, who famously wrote Purge movies. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it, it's a crazy, it's got crazy. And then it's got Jennifer Lopez is in it, which is crazy to think Jennifer wow. Lopez is in a Friends for a Coppola movie. Uh, Wait, and then the, that piece that of movie? shit fucking Bill Cosby's in this too. Oh, oh wow. great. So we have that going for us. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> And I could say he's a piece of shit because I myself is a, I'm a piece of shit person. So <laughs> I think everyone could call I mean, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby? Yeah, I think yeah. it's pretty we much okay. We don't, we don't need to call. We don't need to qualify this. Yeah, we're, we're we're good to call him a piece of shit okay. forever. Yeah, we're good. It's Just also check. possible for piece of shit to have some accomplishments to their name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that piece, sure. piece of shit. Like a piece of shit, Thomas Jefferson. Um, <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, basically, we have the Jack situation where she's a lot bigger. We don't know her. We don't know her real real age. If, like they could say she's she's got the she's got the because she doesn't have the intelligence 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 level of that age. Her comprehension is of that age, but she has a knowledge of the world in her head. Yeah, she's Siri yeah. basically. <laughs> You know, they, they just need to. Thing? They just need to make the interaction yeah. programming better. It, it's all fucked up. I right didn't now. understand. Can you repeat that? No, you fucking bitch ass Alexa. Um, <laughs> and then Data goes goes to the worst person for advice. The worst <laughs> person. It is Beverly Crusher, dude. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the scene's right. really funny. She, she's yeah. a mom. It is funny, especially yeah. in the context of our podcast. <laughs> but, yes, but the, the hilarious. hilarious part is it still fits into the context of our podcast. Because she says, oh, back when I was re- raising Wesley, as if yeah. she like almost forgot that Wesley's still a child. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he's, not he's, he's not 18. He's <laughs> He's fine. I, he's doing fine. She's she stepped f- away in that first episode of the season, right? <laughs> she was like, oh, he's flirting with Scooby-Doo girl. It's going to be fine. Yeah. I will. I will give up my parenthood at that yeah. point. Uh, I, I hate her so much, dude. Every, every episode, I yeah. hate that they took out Pulaski and they brought her back. No, yeah, I, I love, that, really I love how Data ass. says, like, hey, you're a successful parent. And Beverly's like, really? <laughs> she, like, kind of yeah, stumbles. Yeah, She's That's like, also uh, true, yeah. Like, yeah. She's Thank like, yep. you. Yeah. She's like, noted, oh noted. Who, who said wow. that? Who said that? I'd like to know who thinks this. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, well, what did you do for Wesley? And he's like, oh, Wesley was was hard, you know. She's like, it's hard when your kid kills small animals. <laughs> oh <my laughs> it's, hard for, it's hard for him to be accepted by other kids. You know, the other kids were intimidated by <laughs> yeah. his penchant for killing small animals. Yeah. 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 They were like, like the, oh, maybe it's a phase. Maybe yeah. it's a phase. But he he has, he just is a sociopath. Maybe he he'll no. stop killing cats and pigeons and shit. <laughs> um God damn Wesley do that piece oh, of shit. No. Um so she gives him a shit advice, dude, and then he goes off and and but you yeah, know what? She I, really I, doesn't give him good advice. No, no. Like it's like, okay, thanks for nothing. Like yeah. that really wasn't. She she gives she gave him advice that would lead to her death, if you really think about it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Think about it. Wesley oh, once again shit. killed her. You're right. Because she told her, told him to keep like, 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 be, that's why she had the emotional breakdown. Yep. Which then led, oh, man. Well, I don't know. By the end of this episode, I started to get the feel like, wait a minute. If Data ever reaches a threshold where he feels an emotion, oh, he's going to die. die. He'll yeah. die. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna that's die. Fucked. That's yeah. fucked, man. The first moment you feel love, you're gonna die. <laughs> that's not cool at all. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Yeah, and then yeah, well. uh, it's it's Starfy calls Picard in the middle of the night. Well, the, th- oh, the truth is that like his sexy middle of the night outfit. Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Chest. It's a very sexy is pajamas. That we don't know what when nighttime is. You know? Yeah, yeah, we don't. I I've always wondered that actually. I like said this once starship, and I said again. Go ahead, sorry. I, I was about to say that on a starship, it would make most sense for people to have like, you know, asynchronous sleep schedule. So or maybe not everyone is asleep at the same time. Are you saying everybody's fasting? Are everybody's <laughs> on that fat or they're fasting? <laughs> what? I mean, I think uh, everyone's I, I on the keto know. diet. Yeah. Like they're just diet. like, wait, they is all asynchronous take sleep part of the keto diet? No, no. Yeah, it's, it's all tied together. Flat Earth, or flat Earth. <laughs> is even the keto. term asynchronous no, have anything to do with the keto diet? <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm scraping for are you straws saying, that are you saying grasp a, at here. Are you saying a keto diet? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to learn a keto. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you diet? You mean hop keto, the martial art? <laughs> yeah. Hibachi. Uh, you mean hibachi grill? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> God. Damn it, dude. We're going, we're spiraling out of control. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, I'm so back sorry, to everyone. sexy yeah. Picard. Okay, only one of us day. can do this any episode. I'm so That's sorry. That's the rule everyone. now. Only also, one of us can do it. I actually, I Marvin sleeps like this with his hand. Wait, you know, with with, like with just like unbutton, pose? unbutton shirt all the way to the navel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, no, I'm I, I'm more meant with the arm. Uh, no, no, pose. you 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 meant it how you meant it. <laughs> <laughs> unbutton shirt that all the way to the navel. Unbutton shirt all the way. To, I mean, it's a very yeah. sexy shot of <laughs> when he gets a phone call in the middle of the night he's like well excuse me let me answer this uh, as a facetime call <laughs> yeah so they can see me <laughs> i need to let them know this is how i sleep see me in my yeah. robe yeah but like he didn't, does anyone sleep like that yeah. with their with their arm kind of like above it's like the starfish pose like yeah your, with your arms, arms up your, sometimes above your head yeah. like i used that? to sleep like that but then my my, my arm would fall asleep <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, it feels like it's bad for blood flow. I don't know. Yeah. I like it. I like sleeping that, but Marvin, definitely, you sleep like this yeah. with your arms. I'll tell you out. how I don't sleep. I don't sleep with the shiny space pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the shiny space pillow and, and the robe. I hate, I hate hey, we've, all we've the space things. We've seen him use things. a weird space blanket before, and he's not using it now. I know. Those I just sequence. hate all the space things in Star Trek where and they're you like, don't sleep with shut the up, robe the, with the space version of this is a shiny silver thing. Yeah. Or the space version of this is like a plastic tube, and you're like, oh, stop! Like even the f- <laughs> even the military, like you know, gruff personnel from yesterday's Enterprise had really sparkly belts. Yeah, yeah, it's space nice and belts. sparkly belts. I, I love it. I love it. it's like fabulous. Like yeah, it's very fabulous. Very, very to light. be yeah. or not to be. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know why I said that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Wall was not to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You, you, you think if you rub <laughs> your hand on, on Picard's be. pillow, uh-huh. you, you rub it it's down. It's a sequin pillow. Yeah, yeah and sequin. then it turns into Jeff Goldblum's face. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's so, like our cat, Bernie. <laughs> yeah. His our Bernie, like our cat is like a sequin pillow. If you rub him one way, he turns white. Really? And then him, on, yeah. when you rub him another yeah. way, he turns into a pillow of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. <laughs> it seems like, like, uh, and this may just be me, but like, it seems like when he gets out of bed, Picard, he kind of even opens it up even more further down down the way. So yeah. like, his dick's hanging out a little bit. To Probably. intimidate. <clears throat> yeah, he's like, Admiral, look at my dick. I don't look know why dick. this guy's calling him in the middle of the night like that. Like, well, it, to, him, to the like, other dude, he's in a different time zone. Yeah, yeah. it's probably. Yeah, he, he's like, just not mindful of time zones when you call. Yeah, him, that's I all. mean, it's just like it's wow. hard to be that considerate out in space where light years <laughs> separate you all. Yeah, <laughs> you you think he's like, and then the admiral's like, "Oh, sorry, did I get you uh, at the wrong time?" It's like, motherfucker, you could see my fucking my, my belly button. Do you think you think this is the right time? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> hey, you know what? Like Everyone should just stop robe. complaining. It's a marvel that they're able to communicate at all. <laughs> There's space. <laughs> it's fucking space. Like. <laughs> years away he's like did i get- <laughs> at, it's seemingly real time which exactly. is crazy that's insane how is yeah. that possible that's that's a, th- that's a thing they actually never explain because you know light speed travel is explained through warp but do they warp transmission all telecommunication somehow? is at warp 
nine, Twelve. like like the fastest speed in the world. This doesn't make sense. Uh, but anyway, the zip, the the communications and work. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> So, so the Admiral's like, Hey, I'm heading down there. I'm going to go pick up this fucking robot, dude. <laughs> and he's like, what? No, no, no. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to go. So then he takes, he takes a data, takes uh, his daughter to work at a bar. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And he's like, Hey, uh, Hey, uh, Guinan. Guinan. Oh my God. You saved me. Guinan. <laughs> he's like, Hey Guinan, uh, you're old as shit, dude. So like, you know, <laughs> yeah, like- <laughs> So yeah. like you know, You're teach her some fossil. shit, dude. Yeah, you should know teach something. Her, teach her some shit and let her fucking clean the bar and shit. You know, and yeah. it's weird. Like I don't. Was this day that they went? Like was it like Swingers Day? What the fuck is going on, dude? Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess it's implied that people just love to hook up at the bar at Ten Forward. It's like a hookup spot. Well, I guess if there's no STDs and stuff, and like you know, like yeah, STDs aren't a thing in the future. People can just fuck, and they're just like, whatever, man, it's fine. Yeah. Then I guess it's fine. I'll allow it, especially today. Um, <laughs> especially in, on International Women's Day. <laughs> yeah. I <am. laughs> it's well um, so everyone's talking to each other. Everyone's, you know, touchy-feely. Everyone's, you know. And then uh, Data gets called by Picard, and he's about to leave. And then and then Galen, Guinan, <laughs> Guinan, Guinan, Guinan yeah, yeah, yes. uh, gives him a, a wink. He's like, I, I got her. Don't worry, bro. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm going to treat her right, dude. Just you're fine. Go for it. You know, mm-hmm. um, it's funny how like some people are good at the look. You know what I mean? What well, giving you one look and you got it. Mm-hmm. Some people are not good at like no matter how they give you how they signal you. Yeah, you know, they'll, mm-hmm. they'll be like yeah, yeah, and you're like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> They're like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's like what what uh, is there something wrong with your fucking eye? Oh <laughs> some people are not good at being subtle with their looks. Um, yeah, but Whoopi Goldberg is amazing at it. We 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 get exactly what she means by it. Yeah, um, yeah, she is very yeah, good at looks. She's mastered it. Yeah. Yeah, that's everybody who was who was in the office was really good at looks, <laughs> really good at looks, or else that show wouldn't have worked. It but had met, to be because I met many people <laughs> who were not good at looks, yeah. um, <clears throat> and they were not subtle at all. And he basically Picard tells Data like, "Hey, they're gonna come. They're gonna take your baby, dude. Uh, <laughs> have, have you seen? Yeah. Like, have you seen pr- CPS yeah. is coming for for yeah. your kid right yeah. now. Yeah, on the way. Someone call them. I don't want to say who is probably fucking Riker." <laughs> uh, but they're gonna come and take your kids. You know, gonna, data. I am a mandated reporter. <laughs> uh, they're gonna take your government cheese. Um, oh no! Government cheese makes the best quesadillas, dude. By the way, um, mm. and grilled cheese sandwiches. It's it's something in the chemical. It's very about. melty. Yeah, yeah. It, it melts very smoothly. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like a Velveeta could hold up under room temperature. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know? like I'll <laughs> bet. What, I'll bet I know what government cheese is, but I can't picture it in my head. It's just big old blocks of like cheddar cheese. Yeah, nice. but it's like made from and like ma- leftovers. And, yeah, yeah. It's cheddar, and then they, they also have like um, not pepper jack, Monterey. Yeah, and they kind of melt it all together into a block yeah. from leftovers, and it's like, oh yeah, you can. It slices very well. <laughs> yeah, Do you yeah. know that there's a song called Government Cheese. Oh, I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure I'm there sure. is. The, and then and then uh, Data goes back to the um, to the bar, and there's a lot. Everyone's like. There's like three dudes that you know are about to fucking yeah throuple it up, dude. Uh, <laughs> they're by the bar. There's a couple that's about to f- make out in, in the far yeah, end. Yeah, she thinks that she's uh she's like biting. Yeah, she's like it, biting her. That that's another reason why I thought this one, this lady was a famous comedic actress because yeah, the way she did right that here. was <laughs> fucking funny as shit, dude. Um, and then uh, there's a lonely girl sitting there uh, drinking a blue drink, but she's eyeing the bartender, and I think she's eyeing the camera. She's like, I hope my mom sees me. Uh, <laughs> but um, she, she fucked up on set. Actually, that was yeah, yeah. And so this couple's like touching and they're holding hands. And like it's getting physical, dude. A lot of PDA. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, "Oh, why do, why do you, the robots like? What do people hold hands? Like, well, you know, to to feel more connected and stuff like that." And um, and then they they start kissing. He's like, "Oh my god, he's biting that female." <laughs> <laughs> it, but it, it's really funny. And he's like, "No, yeah, he's yeah. not biting her. He's he's pressing his lips against hers, and it's called kissing." And you can bite um, her if you want, if you're into that. Yeah, yeah. There's no, um, I mean, mm-hmm. with consent, you know. Yes, mm. consent. Yes. And then, if you're into that, no kink shaming here. No, 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 no. Whatever you're into, except if you're into feet, then <laughs> I will shame you. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't and they'll really like do it. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then you'll like that I'm shaming you. Yeah, which is fine. Just, that just I'll, playing into them. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll allow. Um, <laughs> unless I'm shaming you about your feet, then I don't agree with that. Uh, 
<laughs> the circle of, 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 yeah. of being okay and not yeah. okay. Yes. Um, and then and then uh, Riker comes in out of nowhere. He, they don't. Oh they never God. said like, oh, we're, we, we're picking him up right now. Or like he's done with his fucking. Oh, they do. Seven days. Like of fucking- someone, someone says on the on the intercom to Picard. Oh, Ry- Riker's back, by the way. Oh, okay. And then Picard goes, Oh, yeah, I'll talk to him in an hour. And then, yeah, he's like, yeah. he's probably pooped out because he's been masturbating he, all he this need- time. Well, no, he needs to like you know, it's been a long trip. He needs to rub one out. Then he's replenishes ready. his fluids. He's ready to then talk yeah, to people. Ten out. <laughs> so this is the scene. I yeah, this is the one I'm curious. What she grabs wants. Riker and kisses him. Yeah. yeah. After he kind of starts he, flirting he, with her, no, he hits on her. Yeah, he does. He does his usual Riker thing. Yeah, like, he does it, the Riker. It's standard Riker procedure. Which yeah. you, know, you know what? Honestly, given the last couple episodes, I think he, he can't turn it off. Maybe he would be he like, you know what? Let me let me pause. No, no. Let me pause on no. this. It only no. validated him time. further. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I was accused of rape, and I was on no. trial. No, nope. it it just made no, it, it he just was exonerated in, in that case. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like still, him. you and would think wrong... he he. I mean, he literally walks in and locks on her. Yeah, he goes, "Oh, you're new." And he like is just like, "You're <laughs> new around here." And then it turns you? out that she's mm-hmm. too forward and ends up advancing further than he was ready for. Yeah. But he like lets her grab. Who's the I mean, real he, aggressor here? <laughs> he, he, he lets this happen, right? Like he, it, Well, he is taken aback. But she's also like he has- a, Yeah, but she's like a what, a 100 a pound woman here grabbing Riker over the counter, like come on. Well, it's she's presumed she has- that she has the strength of like 10 men or something oh, like sure. Data does. Oh, yeah. Sure. Also so uh, androids are heavier. They're quite heavy. Um, so it's it's. She's probably actually like five hundred pounds. Actually. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Compact then. Um. You, you don't have to put her, put her on blast like that, dude. She, she's she's <laughs> she, she, she's fine. She's fine. She 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 don't weight shame her, dude. <laughs> she's fine. She's but, reasonably fit. But to 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 be fair, to be fair, she looks like she's thirty. Yeah, he had no idea. Yeah. yeah. If but you that's see, what, but that's he, what I mean. He visually inspected. He visually saw. It's not his fault. Like that. That. that and he only got one line out before yeah. this happened. Like he's okay, like, hey, baby. But and just then because she, you look a certain age doesn't mean. I mean, there's a whole. You oh know, we got God. we got some jail no, but bait s- questions. Sarah, this. he just asked. He asked her one question, <laughs> and then <laughs> she grabbed him. No, there I was, know. There was there was no exploration beyond. He probably would have <laughs> kept asking, "Who yeah. are you? Well, what are you doing here?" Yeah. But but Oh, your yeah. you, daughter. What is yeah. this? What the fuck? Do you play <laughs> <Yeah>. the harp? <laughs> you, no, I mean, but that 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 tells you. But this goes back to what I'm trying to say: is like because of her appearance, we we as humans don't know how to interact with her other than our relations to what we think. She right. looks like a 30 year old woman. Therefore I'm going to treat her as one. Well, here's the thing as Unfortunately, well. Unfortunately, our perceptions are all we have. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I mean, that's, that's all we have. Is that okay though? No, it's not. We're human. So <sighs> yeah. there. Yeah. You can't, <laughs> it's, it's okay. So two things. One is that, she looked of age, so you yeah, can't really fault him for that. But two, she's also working at a bar. Yeah, dude. You you, <laughs> you think children work at bars, dude? Well, they do actually. Um, <laughs> in some parts of the country. But then world. they call her. They call her like his. You know, they also in some scenes treat her like a baby or yeah. like a like a, a toddler. A child. So it's weird to have some scenes where you know she. I mean, it's not weird. I think it's just it it brings up these questions of like. How old is she and what is appropriate? I don't think there are questions. I think they're no. just exploring it. That's all. Like yeah. the, that's the whole point of the episode. They're just yeah. trying to figure it out. They, 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 well, they don't. So, no. Yeah. Um, so they're trying to. That's like the whole point. Yeah. Here's another thing is that if we create life like this, not completely sentient, but if we create life where you could, it looks like a human, it feels like a human, the next step, the next year is us fucking that robot. Well, it's, yeah, this is just the holodeck discussion again. Yes, yeah. yes. This is Westworld. Like, Westworld, the show is not fucking wrong. Like, everyone would be there killing and fucking fucking people. 100%. That's not wrong. That would be the first 100 years of, of the Westworld. And then we would they would finally be like, well, let's see how we can really use these robots now that, yeah, now, now that yeah. we're tuckered out. <laughs> yeah. The only yeah. unbelievable thing about Westworld is the fact that Westworld itself exists. <laughs> it's a Westworld. Well, versus. it's it's just like you know the, the amount of things that they're able to accomplish within there. It's it's just it. Come on, it's impossible. <laughs> you would never get it that good. <laughs> well, it's not that good. That's why it's Jurassic Park. 
Mm. And well, I mean, like, just on a technological standpoint, you're not you're not getting there. Yeah, where where they were, even well, though true. that too went to shit. <laughs> um, and this brings up again the show too. back to Jurassic Park. Just just because we can make a robot like this doesn't mean we should. Mm. Yeah, we weren't ready for the. Just because you can have kids doesn't mean you should. Bingo, bingo, <laughs> bingo. <laughs> Yes, that's that's absolutely true. Yeah. Well, in 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 the context of Data's own like you know ground and stance here, I think that is the conclusion we're drawing here because it's like yeah, Data like defends Law's existence by you know saying like hey humans just have an instinct to procreate and I am engaging in that like I'm just he's doing just, that yeah like, he's what's emulating wrong with that he may not have had a necessarily. It, well, like, like, kind this of is how I he, can, yeah. yeah, this is how I can, you know, continue my legacy as a human might. Right, right. Which, you know, um, that brings up a really good point, which I thought about is just like, what are people's reasons for having kids? And I think this brings up one of them that may be a bit antiquated, I don't know, but like, is the idea of continuing your legacy. Oh, yeah. That's you know a massive I mean? reason like, for a lot of people. It's, yeah. yeah. Which well, is kind of weird. Inc- like, it's not, it's not a reason that I can personally continue. relate to. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it would technically be called antiquated now. I think it's less popular. But that people it definitely be, modern But day. it's still I mean, definitely, it's still yeah. definitely a reason. Yeah. If somebody said that is their reason nowadays to me, I guess I would kind of be like, oh, that's a bit old fashioned. You know? Well, like, I think the thing is, many people probably would not say it out loud. Loud, but I'm pretty Maybe, sure a lot yeah. of people are doing it specifically for that. I want to. I want my genetic material to continue, or I want someone to leave my shit to, or you know, or my whatever I've built with my life to. If that yeah. happens to be like you know a career. I would do what that business. Simpsons guy did and just like leave it to animals. There we go. Boom. Uh, I can't Done. answer that question for you. Even though I have a kid, I can't answer the question. <laughs> I, I literally I mean, can't. I just need yeah. that one day. I was very anti having kids. Mm-hmm. And then one day I woke up and both my wife and I were like, oh, my girlfriend at the time. We we're like, oh, we should like it was it was not like um, we, we were planning on not even getting married. Well, the only reason we got married was because we wanted a kid and it'd be probably easier to, you know, mm. yeah. taxes and all that bullshit. But <laughs> like but like it wasn't um, it was definitely planned because we thought about it. And but right. it was from one day to another. I can't explain what it was. Hmm. Maybe he was getting older. Maybe he was, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe he was. And I, I'm, I try to be very truthful to myself. <clears throat> and I can't answer that question to like, why did I do it? I don't know. No, why did I want a kid? It's a very complicated question. It yeah. is. And yeah, I think the idea of continuing your, your legacy, I guess, I mean, that, that's a weird, that's a weird explanation for it, I find. But I mean, there's so many reasons people have, right? Like, I, at least for me, that's not that's not important to me. I, I would, say, uh, knowing you, I don't think that would be one of your reasons. No, but I can't see you being like, I would like to continue my legacy. I would like my kid to tell his future generation <laughs> how much of an asshole I was. <laughs> yes, I mean, exactly. for my part, I've spent a few decades just accumulating reasons not to have children. I mean, it seems yeah. like there are more reasons not to than there are. I mean, these days, but. Not to have kids than there are to have kids. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, that could just be the... Uh, it's funny because we had a conversation about this with your with your aunt and uncle. And they were like, oh, we had kids because it was fun. It's fun having kids. It was the funnest thing we've ever done. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, but that, comes, <laughs> but that comes from a place of privilege, right? You know, it costs money to have That's kids. That's true. Yeah. I think but you I mean, saw but like I mean, a, poor countries you know? have, poor, third world countries have kids, all, have more yeah. kids. Yeah, well, like, that's for a different reason. But to say that it's, it's, it's my reason for having a kid is because it's fun means that you have disposable income of some kind. And it's comfortable and, for you. Yeah. I mean, but, there I mean, also used to no be a way, time in which you know? having children was a way to make sure you had help around you know, yeah, your farm yeah, or house farm, or whatever. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like it was, you know. It was labor. Literally yeah. creating more people to help. Yeah. Yeah. Live. I mean, if you had a farm, it would be helpful to have a bunch of kids to run that farm. I mean, that's where you get people. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, I it was mean, practical but, back then. But yeah, it was very practical. But modern day, I, I don't know. It, I mean, the world is ending before our eyes <laughs> in a lot of ways. I mean, at least for data, um, it is the world, specifically The legacy. world will never end. 
Unless the comet hits it. Uh, Sorry, uh, humanity. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. I should I should have rephrased. Yeah. Humanity. Yeah. The world will yeah. continue. Planet Earth will Yeah. It'll heal forever. itself. It'll be better. In fact, <laughs> we are a thin layer of bacteria that needs to be shed <laughs> in order for it we to heal itself. We just need to be Cloroxed, Lysol Lysol yeah. away yeah. real yeah. quick. But mm-hmm. but in a certain way, like now that I have a kid, I can't see myself any other way. But yeah. also I I have a very different experience. I have a very different a view of parenthood than I think everybody else. I, I, mean, I don't I think when it happens to you, yeah. obviously you yeah. love your kid and you, yeah, yeah. You're so happy that yeah. that ever happened yeah. to you. And it's of course, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's definitely, uh, I can't really think of any reasons in my current state. Like, I don't know. Like, what are the re- I don't know. It's really expensive. It's really- also, I come from like a damaged household, right? So, you know, I don't have the yeah. best examples. I mean, maybe yeah. if you have great parental and fam- famili- you know, family examples, it's like mm-hmm. your viewpoint's a little different. But, you know, for me, it was just a struggle. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe that's it. But like, I-, I had a great relationship with my dad. Uh, and uh, I mean, both of them, but I mean, I, ha- I literally had a lot of fun with my dad growing up. <clears throat> a lot of fun. Like, just. Do you great. think you could have that same fun modern day? Like, do yeah. you think it was really yeah. I tried tied to, to that time? I try. I feel like I'm constantly. Not, we're not. I mean, my wife and I don't fight, but I'm saying, like, that's the constant struggle that all I, I, all I want to do is have fun i don't want to do boring shit you know what i mean (laughs) (laughs) because i remember that having that much fun like if my kid wants a lego it's like fuck yeah let's go get a lego dude i don't give a fuck let's go yeah yeah, yeah, lego like and and just that's my biggest takeaway from my dad was like uh like he's like you know we we may not have a ton of money we we may not do a lot of things but we'll fucking have some fun and and my dad isn't even my real dad so like that was i had the best like mm. so that, case that, scenario then my aunt and uncle's argument did you know for them it was all about yeah. raising a child was all about having fun with that kid mm-hmm. yeah and that was their number uh, inadvertently one i got to that this is weirdly <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's kind of that's i mean I, I have nieces and nephews and they're fun you know yeah. like kids are really fun I don't um, want another one. I know that. You do? I don't. Oh, you don't? No, okay. no, no. Okay. Ooh, think, missed that yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I don't child. I don't want more. Okay. Yeah, and I don't. I mean, if we had like a house, I would say like, oh, I'd like to adopt kids because I think it's cool to. Yeah. I think that would be cool to like take somebody. Yeah. Well, they're Especially already, a child they're soldier because you have training. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah like home sure. security yeah basically like you you have like someone to train <laughs> you know like it's it's ready to go like if the shit goes down like they have weapon experience like you don't your heart out adt <laughs> yeah oh my yeah. god I have a child um soldier. but anyway uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, that was not <laughs> so, nobody called where were we where child were services we? on we're talking about this parenthood thing because that's where it's it, it's ending up basically like that right. comes and wants to take uh, data's for all for all for as far as we know it's his kid like he created yeah. her even though it was technology everyone and agrees biology. he's the only one who doesn't agree yeah who, yeah. who admiral. doesn't admiral, admiral half oh, yeah, yeah, he's sure. the only one who's going out of his way to say she is not your child yeah. well because like, he has different motives he wants her you know? Yeah, but just like everyone in the room is saying, no, that's a, that's your kid. Everyone's like, stop being a fucking dick. It's yeah. his it's his daughter. My God. Well, like he, Admiral is approaching this from like the beginning of season two, Polanski. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, Pulaski. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> Roman <laughs> yeah. fucking infected me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but it's like, well, that's pretty sentimental attitude for an android. Like yeah. he, he almost said like the same exact line <laughs> Pulaski said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, what are these noises? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Marvin did one, and then uh, it was contagious. Um, so, <clears throat> so okay. basically, he comes over here, and he's like, uh, "I'm gonna take her," and he's like, and Picard like goes to bat for him, and like more than once, like he's like, "No, you're not gonna call uh, Starfleet," and he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna call him. We'll figure this out. L- l- let's take it. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's take it to the to circuit court. You know what I mean? None of this mm-hmm. bullshit. And then the Admiral's like, I am the Senate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's all the no more republic. Yeah, the fact that he, as soon as he yells, I am Starfleet, I go, okay, yeah. you're, we should kill you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd, be like, I'd, be like, I'd be like, you know what? Looks like you're coming down with the cold. Let me call Beverly. Beverly? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, no. So. Yeah. 
Um, you need and to then see our at, doctor right away. At, yeah. At one point, <laughs> um, at one point, he, he data does give her like um, like basically all the feelings, and she's learning more things because she says she says like I'll I'll be like instead of like she says I will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's contractions. So she's way more. She's learning at a faster pace than data. Mm-hmm. Um, more um, human traits. That's what she's learning, and. Even Data's like astonished that like he built her better than he was he's built, but you later find out that that's a bad thing because he, she basically like had a freak out and and kind of yeah because like, because the yeah. admiral has a one on one with her yeah and she says I don't want to go but then yeah. she realizes he's going to try to take her away yep. so then she starts panicking which is the, and she the, goes to Deanna first right yeah yeah she goes to Deanna first and then it's revealed that she's feeling emotions yeah and emotions suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turns out emotions are terrible. They are errors in one's programming. They are the source of yeah. humanity and all of its foibles. Yeah. It turns out that data w- was wrong to look for emotions. Emotions yeah. are what makes it. Turns out human. being human is self destructive inherently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. And that's, basically, the, that's, the, that's the moral of the story. Yeah. Is that emotions and, will kill you. And exactly. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to fucking feel this. I'd rather die. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Kirk Cobain was right. Um, <laughs> Oh, no. oh man! <laughs> oh boy! Oh shit! Uh. But in all seriousness, guys, if you if you feel like you, you you you're gonna hurt yourself, there's a lot of phone numbers to call. Yeah. Um, we are not the ones to give you that number. We don't have it. We're sorry, but you know, I look. It's nothing to joke about, but. No, life is tough. I life mean, this this fucking episode explains yeah. that. Look, she was she wanted to unalive herself. She didn't want to be here anymore. So yeah, yeah. Once she felt emotions and fears, it, it's and love and this, it's, yeah. it's too much. And she she literally breaks down. And what what I call bullshit on is that the captain kind of like the the admiral so quickly shifts and and is yeah. like, well, no, I want to help you. I want to help. He yeah, wants to I help hate him. that turn. I kind of hate it. I kind of hate. There's it. nothing. I wish, to, I wish there was more motivation for yeah. it. I wish. Yeah. I wish he came like unwillingly, maybe. And was kind of maybe he was like, look, Starfleet's really asking me to do this. Maybe yeah. if that was his motive, it would have sure. been yeah. happier, you know. But like he he flips on a dime, like he's like, oh, then I want to I want to help operate. It, it yeah. feels shady. It feels the, like this I, entire if I fix her, ending. I'll take her. I hate I'll I hate her. this entire ending yeah. where he suddenly has a face turn. He's the one after like you know they do the operation with Lol's positronic yeah, brain, and then out. he's the one who comes out and tells them what happened. Yeah, yeah. It's like she's uh, she died of a lonely of a broken heart. Essentially, uh, yeah, yeah. He's like th- she did ask. Like, she's you like, should have seen him. He was trying so hard, though. Oh I couldn't man! Couldn't even see his hands move yeah. so fast. The last thing, yeah, he was cranking it so fast. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, in his performance, I believe, but yeah. not his character. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like, like yeah, the actor's the performance, performance I believe. Great. I just don't think it matches the character at all. It's just so strange. No, because like, all of a sudden you're <laughs> meant to believe that this evil guy who wanted to like separate them all of a sudden cares. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because I saw this video on on. <laughs> on instagram uh-huh. and it's this guy like kind of speed reading but <laughs> he has this guy wetting his hands with, like with like a little spray bottle so he can turn the pages faster and, and, uh, this is like here <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like like yelling and that's what i think is that what you imagined that was that's going on that's what yeah, i imagine yeah. data like he'd be like <laughs> <Okay>. six eight <laughs> <laughs> He's like he's fucking like tiny balls and spraying water yeah. on his yeah. fingers. Yeah, <laughs> it's like so, 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 so. Wow. <laughs> that's all I imagine. And he's like he's working so fast. His little hands are pumping so fast. <laughs> I couldn't see him. Um, I'll, I'll say, think. I'll say. He turned into the 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 the, yeah, the southerner. Yeah, um, yeah. And then uh, I call bullshit on that. And then I call bullshit the, like the like we fixed her enough to have one last moment. That's bullshit, dude. Like <laughs> it would have been more impactful if he if she had just died and like. How much more impactful would it have been if, like, her last moments alive and knowing was in fear and shit? Because that's really how humans die. And when when they know they're they're dying, you know, like yeah, like, yeah, like when people die in their sleep, that's the best way to go, dude. I that's how I want to go in my sleep. Just fucking mm. uh, sleep yeah, is my favorite just, thing you to just do. Don't, you just sleep don't is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sleep just die best. doing your your favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say sex, but I say sleeping. Sleeping is the best. Sex thing. sounds like a horrible way to. Yeah. yeah. Wait, apparently, yeah. apparently, Matthew McConaughey's dad went like that. He had a he was had he had a heart attack while he was having sex. Well, right. he didn't even get to finish. Possible. That sucks. 
Well, well that's we don't also know that. traumatic for anything <laughs> or anyone else involved, like afterward. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh yeah. God, yeah. That's, that's just oh, trauma, man. trauma, that, trauma. His, Everybody. Watching, his partner could I, never want to have sex again. I forgot oh, what I was God. watching, but I was watching something where someone died and they were, you know, uh, during sex, but they were like chained to the bed and the person couldn't find the key. You know, Gerald's game. Oh, is. oh, her- yeah, Harold. What was that. Gerald's Game, it, it's like this horror movie on Netflix. It's a Stephen King uh, short story adaptation. Is that what of, I was uh, watching? They're, I, they're, they're have, I think you saw me watching it. Um, yeah. It was, it was like, a, they're like a couple whose rela- marriage is Remember? kind of falling apart. Yeah. So they decide to have like a kink thing in the cabin. That in the was crazy. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. That's That was crazy. That was traumatic. And the guy like had a heart attack, right? Or something like well, that. Well, yeah, I had a heart attack. Well, it turned out that was the least of her traumas. So, I just remember watching that, that, was that just being the, like, That was just oh the latest God. in a long string of traumas she's been through her entire life. So That's well. what it made me think of. And, you know, basically that's how I wish she would have gone, like how most humans go, which is a little angry, a little confused, a little scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe having a shit a little bit. Yeah. So. I don't know. I don't know. This episode was some parts uh, ask good questions. It asked good questions about like, what does it mean to be human? What does it mean to feel? What does it mean to, to be procreate. alive? What does it mean to, and, and also nothing matters as well. That's my <laughs> theory is that nothing, fuck, we're doing this for nothing. At the end, we're, we're dead and, 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 and nothing, we didn't change anything. Nothing has changed. Like no, technology has I changed think, a little bit yeah. and we're more advanced, but we're still fighting for the same fucking piece of shit dirt that we, th- <laughs> it's happening right now. Literally Russia is like, no, nah, I want that fucking land. And it's like, and yeah. Israel and Palestine is like, we want that dirt. And it's like, it's the uh, same dirt everywhere. And I don't give a <laughs> shit who you fucking prayed to. It's, they're all fake people. Uh, and it's all dirt. So. I mean, it's the, I mean, I, one can say that that's the human experience is you just go through this bullshit and that's, that's, there's nothing, there's no meaning to it other than just going through it. Yeah. And it, hey, you want to, you want a quick little dose of perspective. Listen to Carl Sagan talking about the pale blue dot. Oh yeah. 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 And, and I, and because of that, like I have a saying that I like to pull out all the time. It's our problems are at the same time insignificant and in all we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is absolutely true. That's true. And the the thing is, that, like, it's kind of like this is why I see this is gonna sound. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tread lightly, but I'll say this. That's what I fight constantly, which is like, yeah, I can buy a house, but I don't really own it. I don't own the land. I don't. I I'm 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 mm, living in. I'm a human that lives mm-hmm. on Earth, mm-hmm. which should be free, but I'm yeah. paying somebody. For or something with fake money that's with fake money arbitrary yeah, yeah like it, it the 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 mental math i have to do is really uh, it, it's hard to fucking jump those hoops and and being like like uh, fuck like do i want to do that and like then i'm stuck at a job i don't want it to and then i'm like and, and so like it's a it's a lot of uh mental jenga <laughs> <laughs> to, to but that's a human experience i guess like that's what it is to yeah. i don't know if, yeah. i don't know if that's middle america is having these thoughts uh, uh, or if they're like uh, <laughs> let's fucking raid the fucking uh the fucking capital like i don't know i don't know what's going through <laughs> different people's minds at, at any given moment and i that's what i guess he, being human is that everybody's everybody's sentient but at the end at the end of the day i think everybody also has a reptilian mind that's why oh, we're yeah. all it's, stupid. It's the sentience is the sentience is necessarily built on top of a reptilian mind. Yeah, the type yeah. of sentience that we have actually is inseparable from that reptilian part. Yeah, it just that's it. It's it's like built in as part of the foundation. You can't remove it. Yeah, it, it, if you try to remove it, it would probably kill the consciousness. You know, so you can take that from someone who studied cognitive science. <laughs> uh, oh, because you know, it's because. <laughs> <'cause, laughs> What? I don't know, dude. I wouldn't. I would respect power for cognitive <laughs> <Some more power. laughs> it, It's just. It's it went just, all full Tim Allen on you guys. It's uh, just because you know, uh, you know, the evolution of the brain. It's yeah. it's it's random and circumstantial and not you know well designed. Honestly, 
Yeah. Yeah. Our brain. brains are the LA freeway system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, uh, take the five, but then if it's packed, go around, go to the 405. <laughs> but it's a yeah. long way. Why am I going to? No, dude, you're it's trust better. me. It's better. It's, it's better. Because you're going at 10. 10, the 405 is not going to be bad. So go around because the five, it gets a little packed around yeah. 930 to 10. So yeah, avoid but don't that. you dare miss this exit because you can't get, you can't just yeah. go around yeah. and get on, no. you know, at the no. same yeah. freeway around Good there. Lord, you have dude, to you're go gonna travel drive three five miles. Five miles up to turn back around. So don't miss that. So you have to travel 65 on this freeway that was originally designed for 45. So good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Going super fast. Around these but, cars. but the way people decided how fast <laughs> speed limit should be is, was they literally blindfolded somebody and says, does that feel fast? And he's like, yeah, it feels fast. Okay. 65. It is. Like, no, we have so much more safety in cars. Now let's all go 75, you know, uh, oh my God. God damn it, dude. And they're lowering the speed limits now. Oh boy. Yeah. I I hate the ending of this episode a lot. Yes, um, I do too. Because the problem is, so they have the sentimental ending with Lol. Yeah, she passes away. She degrades. She goes through the the phrases she had learned before. You know, kissing, right? Back Love to friends, girl, girl mm-hmm. human. Vicky loves yeah. Jamie. And you're like, okay, that's, and, you're, and you're like, that's sad. That's a Jimmy sad. Changas. <laughs> <laughs> the very first thing she learned, Jimmy Changas. Yeah, <laughs> but then. Data comes to the bridge and goes, yeah, Lol passed away. And everyone goes, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And then Data goes, oh, don't worry. She's always here. And you think of it as like, oh, is it like a sentiment? Like he always has her memories. Yeah. But but then then he goes, weird. (laughs) Then he goes, no, I downloaded her memories into my brain. And you're like, what? And then suddenly you're faced with like the co- weird reality of like, oh, wait, no, this. Yeah, that's always yeah, what she was. She was, was the copy like, of his yep, brain. Yep. My first thought was, oh, uh, he has the memory of kissing Picard. Um, kissing <laughs> Riker, Riker, yeah. Randomly. yeah, Oh, yeah. I was like, uh, oh, Data, that's so Data and weird. Riker, maybe they probably have smooched a bit off screen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Riker yeah, gets around. Never in such a thrilling manner. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first thought was like, oh, he has that memory now. Wait a minute. But that probably means that he probably had to cut off like the memory point up to where she started malfunctioning. <laughs> yeah. Again, it doesn't <laughs> quite make sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was, actually, I, like earlier in the discussion, I was like waiting for an opportunity to ask you guys, what do you think? guys think of that weird twist where it's like oh yeah sh- i just downloaded her into my brain i hate She's up it here now and then every, like, it, and the reactions of the crew like the shot that they cut two of them like staring at they him, look like, uncomfortable yeah they don't look like they're like it's not like oh good for you man it's like wh- what yeah it's Ew, like that's everyone's weird like, weirded it out uh, weirded. <laughs> they're weirded it out weirded yeah, it out everyone's like okay that's a bit odd but yeah, and then Picard's know. like, uh, just skip your seat, <laughs> just, man. Uh, take your and position, they, they're just like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, and then Data, as he sits down, he has like this worried expression on his face, and that's the last shot of the episode. This yeah, ending's it's terrible. Really, it's a really, <laughs> it's a really strange ending. Not just not like technically terrible, but just like in thematically, it's awful. Like, cause what, what does that thematically mean? You know what? Like, I will <laughs> give, I will give props to this for being like a very possible outcome that is real and super uncomfortable. Ugh. It's like, that's something yeah. data might've actually done. <laughs> so bad. I don't like it. It, it doesn't work thematically, but it, it, it's, it's an outcome that's possible. Yeah. Well, I get, because of that, I give this episode a six out of 10. Uh, again, again, once more. George Lucas sees this and he says, that's how we do the Millennium Falcon. Oh, he you're, uploads, you're right. He uploads the <sighs> droid's memories into the ship. Yeah. That's why he's always talking traps about her, Traps her in the ship forever. Yeah. Ghost in the machine. <laughs> Wait, what happened? That's, that's in Solo. Oh, is it? Yeah. Whose yeah. memories are in the ship? There's, there's like a, a droid. A, yeah. It's like a, just like a spunky droid that is like trying to like fight for droid rights. And then she's killed. So oh. uh, uh, Lando feels sad. So he goes, oh, okay, I'll put your brain in the ship. And it's just oh. a horrific ending for her. <laughs> it is, yeah. actually. But like, but like they try to explain like why he always, why he's always talking to the ship in, in, in the Which is trilogy. not a thing you need to explain. Yeah. It's just a thing yeah. people yeah. do. <laughs> but that is they, the they were like, dumbest thing. Yeah. Where did Lando get his belt? Did he get it from the clothing store that his mom wore? Like, who fucking cares about these details? I don't know why Star, Star Wars has... This thing where they need to feel like they need to explain every single strange quirk that shows up in the movies, but it's just like no one cares to like show. They have show nothing. Anakin fucked the Padme. 
Did you notice that 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 it's um, because they refused to talk about Kyle Katarn? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did you guys notice that that um that the the robot the robot Halal <laughs> she talked a little bit like the, in episode in episode one the Phantom Menace when Nellie Portman is a Madala she kind of yeah, talks like this she a talks little a little bit, bit like a robot the Senate. <laughs> Yeah, and we are right. here to talk to the Senate floor. <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> like fucking no, like a lol. Yeah, just in, like just like highlight lol's hair and increase yeah. the scale yeah. by like three hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, that's Amidala. Yeah. yeah, we're here uh, because the the Federation Trade Treaty. I always like, wondered if they called her Amidala just because the amygdala is a part of the brain, and George Lucas was like, "Oh, she's smart." Yeah, Amidala. <laughs> <laughs> he watched the yeah. water boy he watched the water boy oh, wait is there it. anyone else in the in the movies uh that has a name close to medulla uh, no I, as far yeah. as i don't i don't think so crud darth medulla uh, all right <laughs> no the the best name in all of star wars is savage oppress yeah that's that's still that still takes the cake for well, the for, best one <laughs> yeah it's fantastic Hell yeah, hell yeah. So I'm gonna give this a I'm gonna give this a, a, a seven. A seven a, no, no, a six, a six, a six. It's yeah, a I'm not I it's it's cause like 6. there's a lot 9, of 6. it's 9. a good of I <laughs> it's a lot of good ideas in it. It's yeah. just I think they just it's really sloppy. Yes. Yeah. And um as an episode super sloppy. Yeah. What what Sarah and Dan, what do you guys think? I'll go with uh six also. Mm-hmm. Maybe six point five, only because it like it introduces enough questions that it can help, like, and get you thinking about things yourself. Mm. Like, you know, it, it gives you enough prompts to, like, if you're in a if you're in a pondering mood, you're gonna get to pondering, right? right. But um, like the pondering. episode itself, eh, not the so great. Itself does not ponder. Very it, well. it feels too much like a, a rehash of Measure of a Man in some regards, and they don't like adequately explore what new stuff they brought into the discussion. Yeah, to like Measure of a Man, it was also a spec script. So oh. I wonder if someone was like, oh, I saw Measure of a Man. I want to make a sequel to it. And uh, the guy who wrote it, his name was Tim Belinda Bodgrass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Ren- Renee Achevaria. I don't know if I'm saying that name correctly, but he went on to write a few other things for Star Trek as well. Ah, okay. You know, Sarah, what do you think? I'm going to give it six. All right. Okay. Yeah. It was interesting, but yeah, I think there's a lot of questions that it raised, but maybe, I don't know. I would have liked to see what how they answered them, maybe mm-hmm. just, I don't know, more in depth. Yeah. I mean, I guess this goes down in history as one of those fun episodes to reduce down to a horror, like a really misrepresentative sentence. <laughs> when you're trying to like reminisce about Star Trek with others, it's like, remember that time the like Data's daughter realized she she was human and then committed suicide? <laughs> Essentially. Or uh, realizing she was human killed her. Yeah. Be, re, learning, f- discovering her emotions killed her. Yeah. That's actually really direct. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's literally exactly discovering her emotions killed her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and yeah, exactly. And there's just so many questions that I think. Maybe what a terrible they, thematic they message it. that is. <laughs> you know, like she died because she learned emotions. It wasn't like a yeah. tragedy. It was because she became human. It's just, uh, I don't know. That's. Like, I guess it does bring up a, a slight question of like, what if the, w- the first emotion she felt wasn't panic or fear? Like, what if she managed to, f- to feel a positive emotion first? I don't know, because she ended up, the last emotion she felt was love. And that killed her. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think just the act of feeling at all kind of just fucked See her up. See what I mean? There's a no, lot of questions true. that yeah, we want to know. Didn't, didn't do shit because yeah. she felt that too. Never mind. We're f- yeah, humanity sucks. <laughs> yeah. Tina just wants to know what love is. <laughs> Just like foreigner, yeah. But I want to know, you know what love is. But don't hurt him, baby. <laughs> don't hurt me. At least don't not anymore. hurt me. Don't hurt him no. any more than you already have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, All right. Um, well, it's the offspring. Yeah. Again, not the band because the band shit. <laughs> uh, well, listen. If you've uh, not the band. Hey, you know what Data said to Lol? <laughs> Why don't you get a job? <laughs> oh, no. Listen, uh, if you if you like us sh- shitting on the offspring or talking about strange inquiries with android sentience and emotions and why it kills them, 
Maybe, you know, give us and a, a very bleak view of humanity. A bleak yeah. views of humanity. Yeah. Give us a review. You know, if you're, li- if you're <laughs> yeah. listening on Apple Podcasts, you know, this, this was a very dark view of humanity. Send, send us a review about our yeah. darkness or podcast addict. You can put reviews there. Or if you're listening on Spotify, just give us a rating. You know, just tell us what you feel, how you feel. And if you'd like to contact us more directly, you can always send us an email at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. Dot com. This week we have a letter from someone nice. named Coupe. Coupe. Oh. Hello, yeah. Coupe. Like, like, like the coup? Like a coup? Uh, spelled K U P E. Oh. So I guess it could oh. be coupe. It could be coupe. I'm not a, a Cooper hundred... Cup? Cooper Cup? I think, but not I think a coupe it... sandwich. <laughs> not a coupe sandwich. Okay. Uh, it could be coupe. I think it's coupe. I think it might be coupe. All right, coupe. Um, okay. So the letter goes as is. Uh, Hi, gang. I was just listening to your episode on the price and wanted to let you know that the Ferengi use a method of currency called latinum. This is a liquid, so in order for it to be easily used, they contain the latinum in gold. This is better established in DS9, so the use of gold in this episode is likely meant to be gold-pressed latinum, as they refer to it. Latinum is used by many races in Star Trek, so it could be considered a way for different species to exchange services and goods who have a different internal currency. Hope this helps you understand why the gold is considered a worthy offering by the Ferengi. Love the show. Keep it up. Coop. Oh, that's very good to know. So I okay. did some research on this. He is wrong. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, you uh, should just left so, them. so I'm gonna How put so? on my I'm gonna put on my nerd glasses. Um, so okay, the, you gotta so, start it off right. Okay, I'm gonna put on my glasses. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There's a Martin, word you, you have to glasses? start with. Do you wear glasses? Yep. I should be wearing glasses, but I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so, he's, he's self conscious of being called a nerd. <laughs> Um, so the price, the episode, the price. Oh, man, you didn't fit. You got to start with actually. Actually, the episode, the price takes place canonically in the year 2366. And the Ferengi canonically viewed gold as valuable until the year 2368. Wow. So only two years prior? It's, it's. They abandoned a, the gold standard in two years? So the thing is, I think what really happened is that the showrunners, specifically for DS9, eventually realize that people any species anywhere that has the ability to replicate anything is stupid for valuing gold so much because you can literally just make gold so they made up this new thing called latinum it's literally like unobtainium yeah literally yeah, basically yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's yeah it's it's yeah. like unobtainium and all they did was say okay so the, how did the Ferengi? so they melt it into the gold so that they can make it stable so they can transport it and it's like a this it's almost like a retcon except canonically they say they only really thought about doing that till 2368 after 2368 gold is considered worthless so sorry coop but that's actually how stupid star trek is sometimes sometimes it's really stupid and they really did think that a bunch of gold would appease these people uh- yeah what's funny <laughs> is that like this retcon like for all of its hoop jumping to make it okay to give gold bars as an offering, it didn't fix the original gold bars that were no, a problem. No, yeah. they never went back to reestablish that. They actually established a, the, the, the actual explanation as being after a certain time, they just think gold sucks. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> Which is uh, that's, that's per our research. Yeah. I, I can't verify myself, but... Uh, you know, from what I've seen so far, I am willing to believe that sometimes Star Trek can be stupid. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes Just my Star two Trek. Cents. Yeah. Sometimes Star Trek doesn't explain stuff or Just think sometimes. stuff through very well. Um, like this episode, for example, there's a, there's a lot of stuff they didn't fully think through, given how heavy the material is, and they kind of <laughs> just went, "Eh, whatever." She dies because she gets motions because she's a woman. <laughs> oh god what if that actually factored into the writing it might like like literally this is 1990 like they might have been like well she died of a broken heart this oh my god is it like in a writer's brain anywhere it's like had data been uh like built into a female form he too would have started to experience emotion and died <laughs> uh imagine oh boy all right well thanks for listening everybody if you want to hear us do other things we we're doing the the what is it called the canon films retrospective we're doing that at the fugitive frames film podcast i think we finally have a list down of the movies we need to catch up on so cool. once we get that going we'll we'll start doing it yes what is yeah and then we also have fugitive games our youtube channel where we play video games 
Uh, we're going to very shortly put up, oh, by the time this episode comes out, actually, there should be two episodes of our playthrough of Perfect Tides Up, um, which right. is a game by Meredith Gran. Um, the it's, point and click adventure game. It's about coming of age on an island. Yeah, and it's really quirky, and we we waste a lot of time reading everything. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, considering this was the passion project of a comic book like author. Yeah, you we know, wanted to read all it the... Behooves you, it behooves the player to read everything they can. And a lot of the text is really fun. Uh, so well, it's, it's actually... because, like, yeah, and adventure games are really games you really should read everything for, for yeah. the record. Like, yeah. adventure games are the games that are, like, text is the game. Yeah, exactly. You so. can't skip that. And boy, we get up really caught up trying to cook these peas. Oh boy, yeah, that took some doing. <laughs> sure did, it took some doing. Although uh, elsewhere in the channel, um, I, I, I admit that my like uh, gaming tendency has been very wishy-washy lately, but I am starting to feel some enthusiasm for Elden Ring. So mm. I might be able to stream that sometime soon. Okay. Or a vampire we'll savior. Not vampire savior. Elder Rings. Uh, Save. Vampire survivors. survivors. Vampire savior is a dark stark. Yes. Game. Yes. It's the original name for stark. <laughs> and uh, I will get back to Tale of Two Wastelands soon. Uh, it's really annoying. They just released a new update for Tale of Two Wastelands. And oh, but it did? requires a full reinstall, which means the saves won't work. Ew. So I'm just going to stay on this version. because nah, 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 nah. Yeah. It's not really worth it. So. All of that, all that stuff, you can go to FugitiveFrames.com and you can just find links to all that stuff. That's FugitiveFrames.com. Cool. So next week, next week, we're going to be looking at Sins of the Father. And I'm there, not going to... Why is it that almost every oh <laughs> TV series, like, from the 90s to early 1000s has an episode named Sins of the Father? Does it? Is that a thing? Hmm. I don't know why. I feel like I, I see that episode as a title in several series. Mm. Maybe not every single one, but mm. it, it's just common enough that it, like it sticks out to me. Mm. Well, if anyone understands what I'm talking about, please help me feel less crazy. Reach Tom, out to me it's somehow. A Tom Waits song called "Sins of the Father." I okay, know. I don't know if that's part of this issue. I did not know <laughs> of that song before, so probably not. <laughs> but it's definitely been used in uh, the DCAU, for instance. Oh, okay. Which um, would it, what episode for that? Let's see. I can try to put. Well, while Dan's looking that up, just to let everybody, just a little preface, this is a Klingon-centric episode, so it's going to be a lot of fun, because the Klingons are wild. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's a, an episode about Tim Drake and Two-Face. Oh, it makes sense. It makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, until then, we'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. See you guys, everybody. Goodbye. Later, everybody. Hello.